Round one. Fight.
fight. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Round one, fight.
Round one. Fight. Round three, fight. <laughs> Round one, fight. <laughs>
King of Iron Fist Tournament. I didn't turn it down. <laughs> no, no, no. I turned it down during casuals, so there hasn't been any commentary oh, okay. this whole time. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, now it's, time to show, now it's time to share my real voice to the gods. Anyway, yeah, Des Desi from Tucson plays Oscar. Oscar. Yeah. Oscar. So now we got Alyssa versus Armor King. This should be... I have not seen Ka uh, I have not seen uh, Kawaii um, play um, play. This should be very interesting to watch. Six, I think it was six. Ka Kawaii. Oh, is this real? This is looking real. All right, away we go. My goodness. And we got Shake taking the first round. Oh, Shake been playing very patient up here with his back against the wall. Good tech there by Miles. Oh, big whiff, but no punish by Shake. Whoa, that was not intended, I'm sure. Grand start neutral jump. Never in my life. Unless there's just something I don't know. Oh. Oh, gets the counter hit this time. Oh. Hello, hello. This is game one, correct? Game one. Game one. Ooh. Good rage drive. Oh. Miles has just such good wall pressure. Of I saw earlier her feathering. She has. Alisa has a counter hit jab string that gives her a full wall splat. And just the way that she would oh. use it, just the threat of it, to then set up, you know, big damage lows. Oh, great conversion here from Shake. Oh, but doesn't get the wall combo. Yeah, think about that wall pressure. Uh, Shake has been actually quite patient with his back against the wall. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's been a little too much in my opinion, but he may know something I don't. Yeah, there, it's finding that balance between, okay, I need to block at the wall, but I need to start slowly moving away, either fighting my way out or, like, sidestepping out. Oh, oh! Tries to challenge, Miles. The, the chainsaws never end. The destruction stance. Jenny, XJ9. Oh, oh, aggression mode. That was a My Life as a Teenage Robot. Episode. Did you ever see that show? I, I'm familiar, but negative. I did uh, not really watch it. No, she didn't have chainsaws in that show, but... She was still a powerhouse. Powerhouse, yeah. yeah. Like much like Elisa. Uh, pigtail, little robot pigtails. Yeah, I remember a little, like blue and white motive. Yeah. Right? yeah, but they were just like pieces of metal just sticking out of the side of her head. Right. Needs to get that, you know, synth human upgrade. I watched Westworld recently, and just thinking about robot, human-looking robots. Oh, we're pretty That's close scary. To this. Scary. It's also a good show. Ooh, great sidestep. Small sidesteps. Look at that. 
scouting exactly what she's looking for. And we saw earlier when she got hit by that uh, crouching gut punch from Armor King, which is a counter hit launcher, she didn't get counter hit by it. So she's playing, sidestepping, but not pulling on the trigger until she is sure. And that's a huge, oh, huge no part. Oh, tech this time. Oh, the with the wall, that's so much damage, Woo! but the blue stuff. Jet boosters turn on. Two. Fight. All right, starting some jab pressure here. Ooh! Nice whiff punish. Ducking crush. Great duck. Oh, oh no! Oh, nice. Nice like uh, awareness to just go for the last part. I don't know if that was like intentional, if, if it would still hit if she had the combo, but. It is a wall combo, but that actually works really good. I like to call those things like insurance policies. Like uh, if this yeah, whiffs, I have the next hit of the string that is going to cover me in case of a goof up. Good insurance policy. I'll stay. And here we go with a uh, potentially last round, round of the set. Three. Here for uh, Miles. Oh. Keeping himself alive. Shake taken to the wall. Great float conversion. That is just uh, a skill you always got to have in tournament to recognize when you got the combo. Okay, stop what I was going to do and just finish out this combo. Nice punish on the wall standing launcher. Ooh. Oh, again? Another float? Caught her out of the sidestep hop kick. There's that counter hit string, and he punishes it right. Ooh. Oh, in comes a drive. We're but drive into the wall. Yeah, sidewall saves oh. his life. <gasps> That's a kill. That's oh. definitely, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's a kill for Shake. Nice. Keeping himself alive. This man is stone yeah. cold, let me tell you. Absolutely. I know you can't see his face, but he is he is home. It's always a little bit scarier when I'm playing my opponent. They have, like, the hoodie up and, like, totally, totally in it. If they have the hoodie up and, like, a baseball cap underneath the hoodie with the hoodie zip-tied, like, I can't Yo, read they this in. person. They're they a robot. <laughs> yeah. Good pushback. Lots of homing options coming out of Miles here. Try to catch the step and the counter hit. But uh, Shake's moving a little bit more linearly, let, waiting for Miles to do the stepping and adjust accordingly. Oh, great wall running, too. And, the and another one. I always duck there, too, so I feel it. Well played, well played. had so many years here of playing 3D fighting games. Do there any memories come out, stick out to you just doing this here? Fun times, any good pop-offs? Goodness. I, th I think when it comes to Tekken and commentary, I can't help but think of Victor when he is around. Because oh. he's like the loudest commentator. So well, like, we got him he tonight, helps he'll make it on. like super super crazy um obviously on the for me on the on the doa side it was a big shift changeover um on losses for me because i had been like running the scene for yeah, so long and just, just dominating uh one was seeing kidney slowly slowly get better and the first time he actually not just beat me in tournament but pushed me out like with lo losers Double finals Jeopardy? Yeah. Oh my god. And it was goodness. like, holy cow, he's he's thinking good now. And then freaking uh, MCD's just been dominating ever since. And it's like, now I'm the underdog. Oh I'm on the other gosh, side of the yeah. spectrum. So it's like, we're all just honed in, gunning. Our crosshairs are on this on MCD. But um, I'm sure the first couple of tournaments that MCD came out to, like, came out here and, like, whoa, you know, Daniel's throne is being challenged. It's kind of. I, you know, losing sucks, but it's a little bit like exhilarating, almost like, all right, there's like, and now I have to start really stepping up. I can't be on that same gear that I was. Like, it kind of pushes you to start looking for that next level, and then, you know, the iron starts sharpening iron as you all start playing each other. Yeah, you have you have to have people on your level to level up yourself. I mean, not to dig on anyone else that was here prior to that. But no one was really labbing the game like I was yeah. prior to that. Trust me, I, I, I know the feeling, but I, I, I dig, yeah. But um, And that. then Te Tekken's been popping off every time. Like, I mean, I, I very much enjoyed my time with Tekken 7. It, it eventually came to the point where 
you know, I decided it wasn't for me, and I just didn't want to put more time into it. And yeah. I started focusing on my own games. But I super very much enjoyed it. And I'm glad to see uh, so many people stick with it and new people come in throughout the game's life cycle. When a game is this old, even uh, even if it's a popular game, mm -hmm. um, it can be pretty discouraging, and, uh, not as a TO, but as a player, thinking about players, right? Yes. It's, it gets discouraging to see your scene just dwindle yeah. more and more. But, you know, this game didn't really do that. I mean, yes, there are people that start, you know, they start uh, losing interest. Cause, of course. You know, it's Seven been a years long is time. a long time. Woo! But it feels like just yesterday as Victor is back here, BMGF picking up the sticks. Sidestep, was that sidestep four? Sidestep four, absolutely. Oh my goodness, a classic, a classico. Ooh. Young Earn Nasty though, getting all the ground throws, reading up. Didn't want to trust his Oki on that last throw and gets thrown for his troubles. Has to guess. Oh, that is so nasty. Laying on the ground, because Fang has so many good moves that hit so low to the ground that you really have to think about how you want to get up. It's not going to kill you, but you're always going to take that little extra damage that you don't want to if you get wrong. Yeah, oh. I mean, there are a surprising amount of that instances and um, scenarios where you may want to stay on the ground just a little bit longer, but Fang is like one of those characters that just puts that to rest more so. Well, I'm oh, fighting. Now. I'll see you later. Oh, jump on in, Christian. Great shoulder. Ooh, the kip up. I feel like I'm the only person that uses that get up holding forward, but it's got right good here. uses. Sometimes you want an attack that is safe to get up with. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's see what Ernest is gonna have to do to change things up a little bit. Getting caught. Just wrong get ups. Oh, miss input. You're meant to get back one plus two, got one plus two there, but. A little bit of the rust. Now, BMGF has been living in Japan for the last couple of years, actually. Oh, really? Yes. He hasn't been so hot on Tekken. Ooh, the forward 2 one marching orders into the shoulder, finish it off. Of course, but you have to do a random stage if you change your character. Let's see. I've never seen Ernest play anybody but King. Oh, either. This is going to be nice. Paulito. This is, I feel like this is one of the most rarest characters in this stage of the game, is seeing a Paul. He was so, because he had such a fall from grace of being such a powerhouse mm. in that first season. Absolutely. With insane damage, crazy Oki on all of his punishes, back one, two, he's knocking down and forcing you to guess between like Death Fist and a plus on hit low. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see, you know, what kind of, what bring changes come to the table. You know, a little bit better tracking on Paul. He does have, you know, he's got the mids. Oh, but the Fangway scrolls are always ready. Accidental jump. Oh, that is BMGF's, like, one of his strongest abilities is just knowing when you're going to press, like, 1-2 and getting out of the way for that sidestep 4. When you're playing against Fang, one of the best things you can do is just keep your distance backdashing. Fang's biggest weakness is his lack of strong mids with range. If he's going to be chasing after you, he's got to use a lot of lows, like down back three that has a lot more range. So if you are backdashing and kind of, you know, reacting to any sort of movement with a low carry, you end up, you know, kind of option selecting a lot of this offense that he has to start moving in very close. But when you're back to the wall, you are the open worst season, place. absolutely. Learning the matchup first, because um, I started to play Fang for a little bit, and just learning uh, some of the tools that he, and the options that he has is very good once people start to name him. And he can take Ooh. over Rao just like that, and we can see him get the wall here. Oh, oh. what a beautiful side Can he get right. a clean wall? Oh, no, I like that option there. Ooh. Oh, that was... Okay, we're going to play a little bit here so we can get. Nice, get two hits. Good fake, that was Oh beautiful. no, but it miss inputs the crouch dash to knock it so he doesn't get the combo. What do we got here? I got about 20 seconds here playing it safe. Nice monk flip to come in. Nice, nice block. block, no punish. Paul has a really nice punish for that low shoulder. What a beautiful Ooh. sidestep. And it was counter hit too, so he was mashing after that whiff, which let him get an easier combo. And that's going to be BMGF taking it over Earn Nasty 2-0. Oh, 
All right. All right. Switch commentary. Who you play? Oh, no, I meant who. Like, again. I was like, I know you play, man. <laughs> Yeah, good luck, good luck. It's all on stream and everything. We're gonna see Sean's Marduk put in some work. He has a lot, a lot of knowledge, a lot of practice on Marduk, and he will catch you if you're not ready. But this is gonna be a, actually a beautiful game to watch that we're gonna see. Sunder against Sean. This is the Tekken lore matchup. We have King versus Marduk. I love to see it. Sure, they're gonna stick to their mains. This should be good to watch. How you doing, man? Good, good, man. How's it going? Doing good, doing good. good. I'm back. Let's go. This match should be good. We're having a, a lore match between Marduk and King. I think is what we're man, seeing. Here. In the ring? Yeah, oh, yeah I know. Yeah. Speaking of the arena map, dude. Uh, imagine if it was in the ring, though. Yeah. <laughs> that would be sick. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Sean Doom, no surprise, a very tough player. Right. Almost in, he's almost in first in almost every tournament, almost every tournament. Right, very consistent. Very tough, a very good Marduk. In Thunderpants, a very good King. Yeah. No surprise. This should be a great match. Absolutely. A great set. I wasn't aggressive. I wasn't aggressive like the last time we played. I wasn't aggressive. That, that was because I was tired. I wasn't aggressive enough last game. Yeah. Yeah. I was just being aggressive, bro. I didn't, I didn't change my place. I was just tired, bro. All right, both players are checking their um, buttons. Now, Sean do he got a lot of he got a lot of pocket characters, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna go with Mardo. Yeah, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right? I don't know what you're capable of, Sean do I don't know. I don't know how capable you are. <laughs> or that too. Right. Right too. <laughs> Oh, man. Or Katarina. She died. <laughs> she, she died. Gone. She gone. She gone. That's Hold tough. <laughs> That's tough. Round one. Fight. All right. All right, we are at the Dragon's Nest. I actually like this stage. Yeah, I love it. So it's a little small, nice. but like the way that it works, if you know you, if you know your map knowledge there, you can get some good wall combos. Good yeah, a nice giant swing. It ain't gonna kill, but that's gonna do a lot of chunk of damage. Nice. All right, what's Thunder gonna do? He's gonna break. Nice. Yes, he is. That is me, actually. All right. All right. Good luck on your match, man. Round two. All right. All right. Me. Huh. Oh, the counter hit. This is going to hurt if he gets the wall. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Set up. He get the set up. A nice counter hit by Shondu again. Another set up. Yep. KO. Round three. All right. All right. Round three. Thunder, Thunderpin's got to try something. He's got to do something. Uh, 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 wall, uh, uh, stomp. Oh my god, the knockdown. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, stun defense. Um, Sean do let uh, stun defense get uh, get that round. Nice break by Thunder Pants. All right, knockdown. Jab, jab. Oh, he almost had the crush. Oh, nice whip punish by Thunder. Nice power crush by Shandu. In the big jab. All right, we're going to run it back. Same stage, same characters. Career. <laughs> Career. <laughs> It happens, bro. It happens. Round one. Fight. Oh, nice break by Stunder. Nice one plus two break by Stunder right there. Nice hit confirm. Okay. For poking. Oh yeah, we're just throwing we're just throwing out the hands. Oh, nice, nice counter and nice break by Thunder. Great defense by both players here. Nice round for Sean Duke. Closing out round one. Break, we're breaking, breaking each other's legs. Nice duck. Thunderpants takes round two. Okay, 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 we're, we're playing around, we're playing around with the game. Oh, what a launch, nice anti-air by Thunder. Oh, Sean Dude's blowing out, blowing out the hands now. There's the, oh, he's trying to go for the tackle, but there's a nice hit confirmed by Stunder. Nice break by, nice break by Sean Dude. He clipped him with the low. Round four. All right. Fight. Stunder Pants. He needs one more round to close it out. Nice break by, uh, uh, by Stunder Pants. Nice counter hit by Sean Dude. Nice break on the tackle. All right, he's gonna break. Yes, he is. Nice power crush again. It, it reflects to the wall. Oh my God, this is gonna hurt. All right, final round. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. Thunderpants gotta try something here. Oh my God, the 10 hit combo. Oh my God. The 10 hit, oh! The wall, no, it ricocheted to the wall. Oh man, it ricocheted to the wall. <laughs> Stunder, I wanted a miracle, man. Oh, he's about to freak out like, oh my god, got him, got him.
I'm not that amateur, I promise. I got him. <laughs> got him? <laughs> you know, you know, remember that joke? You know that, uh, the little rock one that's, the full moko and mid, mid generation. Oh. There's that one that's like, uh, uh, rock chick. Okay. She started playing it up and like anything with her G is so Jerry. That's so good. So now anytime <laughs> she got bit. him is jot him. And they started even doing it for words that didn't even have a J or a G. That's great. Hello, hello. So obviously, as usual, it didn't go up for me, but that's just what happens when you don't play. You don't practice, you don't win. Every low. Every single one. I, <laughs> Steve's over here yelling at me for not launching the ground throw attempts. It's like, it's not, okay, yeah, I know you're supposed to, I get it, right? I know. Uh, it's probably the, probably like, do you play on DualShock? It might be playing through the, it's probably playing through the, uh, oh, yeah, we're getting it. Yeah, yeah, sorry. If you want, if you want the speakers to go, you have to number two. That too. Oh, no, what have I done? Anyway, this is all my fault. Apologies. Anyway, nice seeing y'all y'all out there. Uh, we are here to see access the finale for Tekken 7. It's been a long road. It's been long. <laughs> Many tournaments. Are we talking about the life cycle We're of Tekken 7? Your personal what? road what? through Tekken 7? Well, well, yeah, it's been a long road for everybody because seven years is a long time for anybody, right? But right. I can only assume that if patterns hold up, then Tekken 8 will be out for eight years, and then we'll just keep on going for that. It's a very basic pattern I've recognized, but that is what I've seen. Yeah, the, these, these higher profile fighters are definitely getting their their marathons in, that's for sure. Hey, I mean, they just I mean, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. The fact that, like, honestly, all things considered, Phoenix has been coming out for a long time. Like, even, I feel like even when it's been slow, there's always been at least someone who's been trying to grab games or coming to Yeah, I was talking so. about that with Sean, dude, earlier. Like, he was asking if, if anything stuck out over the last several years, the last seven years since the game came out. I've been running tournaments a little longer than that because of yeah. DOA. But point is, like, I thought it was so cool how it's been a pretty consistent uh, outshowing regardless it's of the, the year because there's always been somebody new uh, jumping in. Entire games have, have risen and fallen and risen and fallen again in the time this game's been out. Anyway, true. Put out. So, uh, Quiet Face Miles with the classic, the signature Alyssa. MC with the signature Lars. Being a signature Lars player, complaining that his character's bad. He's gonna show out in Tekken 8. You better start winning the tourneys, man. I, I, I tell you what. Oh, our class. Take this to the wall. If there's one, th even if you say the laws is bad in second seven, if you feel that way, he's still got the wall carry regardless. It don't matter. Oh, Whoa. the hop kick connect. Yep, challenge. You know, if you're if you're good enough, they never call it a hope kick, right? They'll call it a hope kick if they think you're sorry. So that was calculated. Cause Miles is good. Nice. Oh, duck under. Oh, too far. And then down three takes it. Very uh. uh yeah, you know, it's interesting. We're kind of entering this last stage, right? We, uh, people have been, you know, it's you're getting into this last Twilight Years where Tekken 8's coming out in, a, like, literally a month. How much people have been playing? Are they fresh? I'm not. Is anyone else? I think a vast majority of those, the people here are not. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> nice. That was a very good duck. I mean, and a nice little combo, too, at the end. Ooh, such a stance. L, not kill. Whoa. Oh. That was such an interesting button to challenge with this orbital right there, but found the hole. I mean, it, it, uh -uh. it's 3D, end of the round. If you expect a low, yep. you bank it wow. all, and it worked out until death. That was a really nice comeback. I mean, that, yeah. obviously that, that's a, helped by the massive Lars damage with that new rage drive. I say new, it's been it's been years now. I but. mean, Lars did it even without his theme song. Right, nice sidestep into Hopkick. Just just reading the reading the environment. Go, go right and then just let it rip. No step there. A bit tough at the wall. Um, 
kind of lose options a bit in terms of getting away from that move, so just decided to hold on to it and then try to fight it out. Nice. Oh, nice flow, but didn't pick up. Running two. Right. Oh, didn't let it rip. Uh, it was gonna be a weird combo conversion anyway, but we could have got a little more damage. Okay. Yeah, I don't think oh. she would. I don't think Miles would have gotten any more beyond the the drop down afterwards. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, but. Uh, that situation at the end there too probably favored Alyssa pretty heavily just because her rage, her rage drive is so much faster. Like that that distance, uh, it was going to be tough for Lars to really set up. Ooh, bye. All right, nice side switch. Okay. Really playing this one further away now. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on for a million years, and then you orbital. Nice interrupt. Oh, that time didn't work. Slice the bark blast, but knocks her out of the air. But she's able to step up and uh, knock her back. Knock her back. Going to the wall, not quite. The X button. Nice. Jine. Oh, wow. What a duck. Okay. Punish. Nice. Oh, oh there, there it yeah. is. And the stomp. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice to have, like, you always, you know, uh, characters with low range drives like that, it's like you're obviously familiar with them, but it's still a 50 50. You still got to be careful. 100%. Especially when the life is as low as it was there at the end. Yep. Two. Miles opting up for, to use a lot of these Good challenge. Frames. Yep. Uh, opting to kind of use the plus range and then just kind of back off. Uh, you're kind of always worried about Lars just because he's got certain crushing properties. Like if he decides to just lightning screw, where you're like, eh, you know, I try to use the plus frames. Nice. Boop. Good damage. Okay, nice punish. Really a pretty low risk there because, you know, not a whole lot of punish. Lars can do off of that punish. Uh-oh, I think. I don't think so. Nope. MCD yelling out why he just did that. Well, he just, he, he does not, not know why he did that. He did not mean to do it now. Exile, you won? 2-1? Uh, so, yeah. I mean, now, now that we're moving into the era of Tekken 8 where it's universal rage art commands, I don't want to hear it. Round one. I don't want to hear it anymore. Okay. Uh, I didn't see a whole lot of the, that low mix-up, uh, the down 3-4, and then the also out of uh, out of dynamic entry. So we'll see if that comes into play a little bit more. Nice, excellent whip punish. Nice chunky damage, and also gets some wall, and then decides to go for it again. Gets the wall splat. Shine the shoes. Get the plus frame. Shine the shoes. Classic sequence. Nothing to complain about there. Look, everyone knows that you can't just do one pass on the shoe. No. There's a few lows in this game where, like, you're always shocked if you ever see them only do it once, right? Like, Anna Wine Opener, I've never seen an Anna just do Wine Opener once. Alyssa Shoe Shine's very similar. I feel like if, if, if she does it once, you're going to see it pretty soon in the next, like, five seconds. Nice balcony it, break. What is even the startup if you happen to know of her hop kick? Uh, I think it's just the standard 15. Okay. Yep. Nice. Wall, floor, balcony break into another combo, into floor break, into, sta into four, standing four. Oh, it doesn't do anything with the wall. Low, mid. Nice whip on it. Oh. Oh, oh, he stood up at just. Oh, cheeky. He, st right. he stood up at like just in time to block the rage drive, but then she was able to use the plus man to take care of it. So this will be a match point for Quarter yes. Face Okay, that wins. Nice big damage and then really nice opportunity to, to follow up with some additional pressure. Okay. Oh, nice dog with jumping jab. Just like stop it. Just like knock it off. Stop. Oh, nice. Take this. Wow. Nice Even conversion. Off, very nice conversion and a lot of like unexpected wall carry that just kind of showed up. Like I wasn't expecting him to get even that and far. And now he's in the corner. Yeah. Like all that work and a little bit of a sidewalk. Oh, last chance yeah. and the slide. I'll take it. Very nice, very nice. We'll get paid versus Dev on stream. Okay. Top. First round. Right there, yeah. All right, so next up we got Will Get Paid versus Dev. Will Get Paid coming fresh off of the new LO Gov Steve trailer. Maybe, got it, maybe he's got a bunch of new tech cramped in his head. Steve is 100% the kind of guy who can just pull a million things out of a single, simple trailer. He's probably got already got a million strat strategies formulated for the new Steve tech. Hey, 
Do we have any available stations over there? Anyway, uh, yep, so probably going to see the Steve. Um, it's always interesting, Dev. Oh, six and seven? Classic okay. bear player, Thank but you. has played, I feel, in the in the course of the past like year or so, more and more Leo. All right, can I please have Flubbin versus Urn on Station 6? Flubbin Good. versus Urn, Station 6. And can I also please have Vacuum Tech versus Shake Zula? On That's station right. seven. Who's player one? Uh, the one with the headset. The one with the headset. Oh, a little tick. It is a classic matchup. I want to see this. I want to see all the hell sweeps. I want to see. Welcome to the king of. Well, who do you think Dev's playing? Thinks he plays right. Is he going to try to start with the layup? I said he's, he's been playing more and more Leo, so I wouldn't I wouldn't really be shocked. Keep the bears in the back pocket. <laughs> Wait, really? I don't know. What, oh, that must be new. Is that new? What's that? There's a monitor in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. I don't know. What Damn, we bougie. I never realized. Damn. Yo, look. If you can't get your game. Oh shit. That's some ne next. That's next level. You're gonna make them angry, bro. They, 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 they are so tired of that joke. Like, I still make it too. I still make oh. the joke. But, dude, Melty players, some of them are so <laughs> livid. I they do. are so tired I, of it. I get it. I totally get it. Wait, <laughs> when uh, when Jabali redid it again yeah. on one of the CO Talkers, I think it was? Dude. Me he got to be blown. a multiplayer player is suffering. <laughs> it's, it, it's just bathroom jokes and getting your game replaced by Eunice at Evo Japan. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. So Eunice, Uniel. Totally. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna, yeah. I probably assume more uni at Evo in oh. Vegas also. Let me fix this. Oh, but we're not seeing Steve either. So this is actually a, a totally different. All right. Wow. audio. You know, I gotta ask if Dev actually did round start Hell Sweep in his first match. I don't know. You have to ask whoever he yeah. played. Yeah. Oh, I think he played. Uh, he played Dargan, right? So I could ask. Oh, all right, all right. Let's see if Dargan remembers. The Dark is not really active in the chat, so probably was not even aware that that I did not, I did not. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. But okay. I'm saying if Dark remembers what actually occurred on his, the first round of his first match yeah, today. Yeah, go back and check the replays. I don't Favorite think it was two. on. I don't think it was on stream. Anyway, uh, this has been all dev round one. Oh. Nice punish. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, like, cause Leo even now is just a character where it's just a whole lot of. Oh wow, the, the full right sidewalk, and then just kept going. Didn't feel the need to whip on it. Just be like, hey, what's up? I'm gonna let you turn around, twin pistons. Yeah. Good turning. Oh wow. That Good yeah. homing uh, to catch the side step. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Leo pressure. You gotta see, you know. I mean, Leo is practically a bear. Nice. Leo's practically what? Leo's practically a bear. Practically a bear, yeah. yeah. In terms of, in, honestly, in terms of like character, like rarity, Leo's probably not bear level, but probably down there. Like you do not see Leo very much. There's like a, there's a couple Leos who play at top level, like Dale Ritchie and Way Gamble and a few others, but they're not very, they're not very common. So it's always an interesting matchup because you no punish on the one standing two, but it did get some nice pressure here, and then he gets a nice counter hit into the one. Pop, pop. It goes under. It's interesting because you see so many Claudios spend so much time. Like, Claudios love jabbing, right? They love doing 1 1. But Leo has a lot of stuff that just, he, he said, you know, he crush right under. Right, yep. right, on, right exactly. just goes right into stance. So, like, you know, the Claudios, you know, a lot of their their reflexes would be like, hey, I got a 1 1 to, like, establish pressure and to, to poke and stuff like that. Right, right there, you know, jabs. Leo's got a lot of stuff where you just throw out and it's like, hey, uh, I'm not really worried about jabs so much. The, the risk reward is a lot. Of, a lot of it's in my favor. Nice caught. Uh, Leo damage isn't the highest, so that might not have killed even if it's been finished, but uh, finishes it off. Fever, you win. Just fucking up. So we'll see. Yeah, the station five. Station five, right? Leo is underrated for sure. It's like it, Leo got some nice changes this last. Uh, at least have Exile versus yeah, Desi. Leo got some nice changes this last match, but again, it's like it, it, just, it just flies under the radar Desi. as a general rule. Right? Right. Like you don't see it very often. Um, but we'll see here. I, I didn't see. I assume. Are we stick? Are we sticking with the? Uh, seemed pretty quick for Claudio. Seemed pretty quick for oh, a character right. switch. So I'm guessing it was a stage switch, and that's what we got. Did he, uh, did he report it?
Non c'è spazio per i dilettanti. Ge geometric plane? Fight. Yeah, we'll see here. Just, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Steve. That's a, okay, so uh, obviously he has a bit of a read on there because that's like the third time that he's been able to hit with the, the wild, the, the twin person down forward to one. Um, it's been catching Dev Duck. Oh, nice oh block. yeah, yeah man. Not the patience on the on the sideward sideways movement. No sure. break. Nice. Wow. And what an unfortunate whiff there for Dev. Yep. Lost, yeah. A bit of a like a bit of an interesting wall position for the wall standing too. Uh, made it kind of work, but not a whole lot of damage off of it. It was just a little too close to the wall. Nice. Nice. Wow. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. To the wall. Nice. Oh, again. Just catching. A lot of catching Steve moving and a lot of catching Steve ducking. And it, it might be both. It might be either. Who knows? But a lot of these mids are catching specifically. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. agree. So we'll see. Nice. Yeah. It's a tough position. You know, you want to try to stop. Ooh, oh, counter wow. hit. I have to wonder if that was to try to catch uh, Leo coming in low again. Because it is still slow. You have to kind of react to it a little bit. Nice. Oh, no. wow. Oh, he and still got the counter hit. You know? Got his, you know, scrambles are tough. Is oh my, it? is that death? Wow, it's oh pretty no. close. Comeback? No. Nice. Good, good option. Yeah. Stop, uh, stop Steve from stepping away from the wall in the direction he wanted to go. Well, well, one more game for death. See, it's like, I guess it's interesting because I'm not really sure what, like, if you're Claudio, what's your go-to mid to check, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure he's got a couple, but I feel like, you know, I, I feel like most of them are probably not quite as fast as you'd like, or maybe don't have quite the hitbox you're looking for. All right, okay. No bonus on the little low. Side okay. Step four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we've not seen a lot of sidestep four either, uh, which is interesting. I, I may, it might have to do with the fact, like, Steve might not be comfortable throwing out a move that's a little bit slower just because of the pressure that Desmond land on. Uh -huh. so this is going to the wall, so that's good. Nice. Oh, man, the counter hit again. Oh, my God. A lot of reset scramble opportunities here that both players have been capitalizing on, capitalizing on pretty well. Oh, my God. We'll get paid. He's just, he's just checking him with the post. Nice. That's the launcher. He, he's going to hit the wall. Up forward three again. Wait a second. Yeah. Okay. Nice break. Again, that's either catching Steve ducking or it's catching him stepping. And I'm pretty sure it's stepping in most cases since they've been hitting the wall. He's been trying to get away from the wall, and, and Dev has done an immaculate job of just keeping him there. Oh, oh, no. He almost had it. Oh. 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 <laughs> wow. Breathe a sigh of relief. I thought I didn't think that was going to kill you. I, I knew this set was going to be crazy, but I didn't think it was going to go that, that crazy. That's the reason they call back one the God Hand. That's why it's the God. That, like, I feel like any other move, I feel like that was literal divine favor that came down and gave that move a little extra damage and needed to kill on the rage. Right. right. <laughs> like, God's like, all right, take this. Take this. I, I figure Steve, I figure uh, we'll get paid. We'll hit a button after um, he hit that, um, before he did his rage. Oh, nice stepping. That's a huge chunk of damage. Like, it doesn't look like a lot. It's three hit combo, but man, that, that does a chunk. Oh nice. my god. Hop kick. The best hop kick in the game. Yep. Oh, no break. Yeah, two wow. break. Or a generic throw, even. Nope. Nice break by Dev. Oh, Not another man. hop kick. Oh my god. This might this might be in, in the repertoire now. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing this quite Oh. Before. Nice quick nice quick move to catch Steve on, uh, on the entry. Fight. See here. Okay, okay. 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 Alright, we're just poking now. We're poking. That's we cool. Are indeed. Dab. Okay. Dab nice knockdown. Oh, that's catching the step. Nice knockdown by um Dev. Tracking really well that side. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, oh. we'll pay. Oh. That should have been way more. We'll get paid. He gotta try something. He's gotta try something. Oh! Yeah, that wall standing four plus two should have been way more damage. That should have been launched. All right, it's going. It's going to take oh, a miracle. Oh, that's a launch. Good. Nice, good stuff. Okay, not quite there on the combo. Nice sidewalk. Nice break. Two grabs not working out. Let's see if maybe mixes that up a little. Let's see. Nice. Nice hop kick. Yeah, excellent with punish. No Wait, he dropped it. No! Oh, he dropped it. Dev yeah, dropped went, it too. Went too far. Went too far. Nice oh, break man. by um, Dev. Oh, nice. Man, yeah. Uh huh. 
Uh -huh. That's definitely something uh -huh. that's the, that he's putting in, right? You're trying to catch Leo, Leo coming in low. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Wow. Oh. That was a sick choice. What a what a sidestep. It's a sidestep, but then also to recognize that that string was going to keep going and, and hit from the side there without Steve being able to block it was a super slick move. The fact that that was able wow. to recognize that that was happening and then let the entire string rip. Because obviously that string is it's pretty risky because it ends with a very telegraphed high. So if someone's blocking it and they know what to do, like obviously if you let that rip. Yo, Dan. Yo, uh, yo Dan. Y'all be having some crazy matches, bro. Anyway, uh, nice stuff to Dev. We'll move you, on. You and CB having some crazy matches, bro. It's going to be winter semis, I believe. All right. Next up, we got back in town. BMGF graces us with his Feng presence. Bailey Blue. And Bailey Blue up from uh, Tucson. Re representing Tucson. Representing Tucson, representing Nina players. The real OG Ninas who played before she could shoot guns. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't jump on the gun bandwagon. Man, for, man why do you have to give her some guns, bro? <laughs> it's all about aggression. And I, they're like, Harada's like, Tekken 8's all about aggression. What's the most aggressive thing you can think of? I don't know, Gat? No. Maybe two of them? Yeah, yeah get a Glock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get a Glock. <laughs> I don't know. How about some full auto, semi auto? How, how about a gun machine that Brian uses on his yeah, wind poses? Yeah. <laughs> Let him have that too in his, like, in his hey, repertoire. So, uh, Brian can use machine gun blows, but I can't use machine guns. That seems unfair. That doesn't make any sense. Brian is really fun to play with in Tekken 8 too. I, I played fun, him a little bit. You play some Brian? Yeah, I played. I played some Brian. Brian it's a good. In it's a good 8. fallback character. Because Brian. Because like, the thing is, is like Brian's like never bad, right? Like even when Brian's like not great, he's never below like I feel like mid. I always feel like he was always top ten for me. Yeah, that's like like he's like he's there's a few of the characters in these games, I think like Steve and Brian specifically, where it's it's just you you have you have to like really reach to think of like a time where it's like when was Brian a bad character, right? Right. Brian has been at the top of the meta for ever. Right? As long as Nii's been playing him and a bunch of other stuff. So it's like if you want a character that's gonna survive the waves and then just be keep steady and be pretty immune from stuff like buffs and nerfs and like the meta and everything changing significantly. Station one. Five. All right, so we'll see. Uh, it's been it's been a little while. Obviously, not seen the BMGF thing. So we're gonna see. Uh, I, 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 it's been a while since I've seen anybody since I've not been out for a little bit. So we'll see if maybe Bailey picked up a few new Lena tricks. Okay. Fight. I'm gonna start with the low. This is the simple one. I start down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Chopping away. Nice. Fish hook. Oh, wow. Caught. Looks like it was catching the step like Steve got caught with the step. Nice. Oh, four, three. Okay, running blonde bomb. Oh, wow. Yep. Don't take your frames there. Don't do it. You don't have them. Oh, four, three counter hit, though. That, that knocks. Uh, that knocks the thing out of the very beginning of the armor, which is interesting. Because you can see the armor just about to start up, but caught it pretty quick. Oh. All right. Alternative. Careful. We saw nothing. Okay, <laughs> the wall here. Nice. Wall splash. The damage. Always. Never changes. Mm-hmm. Fight. Okay, nice. got it. Oh, no follow up. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Went, uh, committed to something else before, so it might have. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, beautiful. Punch, punch reversal into the big damage shoulder. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. The shoulder from anywhere. I don't think his damage is going to change in eight, is it? Uh, I didn't. You know, it's funny because I really didn't run into Feng very much in eight in the beta. I was one of the characters where, for some reason, I just I did not really run into him. Nice, good punish. No, not, not a great punish. That's those need to be launches, really, but it's, it's better than nothing. Right, eight, of course. Oh, nice. wow. Where he's around it. Now we're in danger zone. Okay, you gotta go react. He's, he's gonna have to get out of this. He's, he's trying. Okay, to. decided to offer patience. Uh, took some pokes on the way out, but did eventually get the wall back. So, uh, you gotta think it's probably worth it, but that'll do it. Yeah. All right. So we'll go to, uh, I think the tournament mode is on, so yeah, see if we can go to uh, delete some of these Bluetooth. <laughs> uh, I do not know the tech to do this on PS5 yet, and I'm looking forward to it. But like where, I like, but I'm like, I got the muscle memory for the exact spot in the menu. We watched the... Uh,
monster. I was thinking... We were watching Blade Runner yesterday, right? And I was thinking to myself, I was sitting there before I played you, mm. uh, and I, was, I had this dumb thought where in my head where it's like, in all of my knowledge of how to disconnect the Bluetooth controllers and the PlayStation 4 will be got lost in time, <laughs> like tears and rain, <laughs> for all those moments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's the stupidest thought that's crossed my head in the past three years. <laughs> like, why, what? That's the dumbest. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's, it's nostalgic. It waxes nostalgic. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to look back at it and think about it like, oh, dude. Remember, remember, remember all those cool times <laughs> where the, someone hit the button accidentally and then it all got... It's like a, it's like a thriller. It's like a jump scare. <laughs> so I'm uh, really optimistic with, uh, with yeah. Howard Estate. Nice. nice. Oh, Ooh, no. We want to launch out of that. We absolutely want to launch out of that. Good punish, though. Ooh, oh, okay. He's like blocked every launch punishable move and it has a launch stadium. Right. It's okay, he didn't block that one yet. Fix like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if he launched this one. Oh, well, oh, you got hit. Well, I guess I'll just convert then, sure. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. Get nice. Oh, nice. get him. Okay. Catch him a step again. Sidestep into the hop kick. Interesting. Okay. Definitely worked there. No. Oh. Well, does not have an air grab or a wall grab. Yeah, so that was some sort of, that must have been a, a, some sort of a uh, put air. Nice punish. It's not a whole lot. Oh my goodness. Wow. Her, oh my, how did that not hit? I could, I would have, I would have bet a million dollars that was about to yeah, catch. Yeah, absolutely. I cannot believe Bailey blocked that. That was crazy. Everything about that last bit was crazy. Okay, good. Okay, yep. nice. Yeah, so that's got the 14 one. frame down the so that's good. Pressure? Dead. Okay, nice bike there. Nice. nice. Prime up forward two position. You gotta be careful. Ooh. Now back three. Okay, nice. There Dang, we go. What yeah. for. That's what you need. Feng, Feng has enough tools to deal with that are tough enough to deal with that not blocking, not which that you have to launch punish. Yeah, right now. they'll just if, keep going for him. If he if he's got down, if he can just do down back three at will, then it's just one other thing on top of. And then if he if he if you block it, it's like he's got a, a bunch of other options. So, but yeah, but more than willing to just be like, hey, let's do it. Okay, nice. Wipe the floor. Nice. nice. We're getting great chip damage here. Oh. Uh, Good wherewithal to continue that swing because ba Bailey could have did get the sway under, could have possibly launched that, but. Decided to respect the, the stream extension. Okay, good punish. Oh, um. nice. Man. So deadly. Get the wall here with good hand. Oh, oh nice. nice. That'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. One, one. One. Good. Yeah. Uh, Vic's a real assassin with that side stick for him. Knows right where to place it. Knows exactly where to put the step and to know, like, hey, you're about to throw out a high my way, so let's just go underneath that. Let's get some nice 40% going. More if you're at the wall. Good stuff. All right, so we're sticking with this again. Not really surprising. This is the sexy Round level. It's where all the cool stuff happens. <laughs> oh, goes with it. Oh, wow, yeah. Step with and then launch it. Oh, nice. counter hit is going to be a weird conversion. Still gets good damage though, and plus the plus the Oki and the wall. Nice, shut it down. Close Just the off. pressure. What he wants. Oh, yes, it's got away. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's still a win, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, obviously, you know, you don't want to hit the wall, but like if you can block the rage drive with that much of a health lead, then that's just uh, another thing. Nice, yeah, another man, good block and punish. Yeah, he's, got, he's got an unlock now, so that's that's changing the, the kind of the color of this match a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Beautiful. Okay, nice. 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 All the way wow. away. Yeah. Now it's yeah. good. Now it's hard to. Oh, Ooh, catches the wow. pass. 4 4 3 with a nice range. Didn't quite get the wall, though. I, like, I like this idea. I thought that was about to hit the wall too. I thought like I thought that was about to break it. Either that or get some sort of ground yeah. hit. But again, wow. Nice. So I was up the armor. Ooh, I'm gonna miss that. Damage. <laughs> Round Bailey's at set point. Fight. Yeah. Yes. He's comfortable right now. He has the momentum. Oh, Ooh. okay. Counter hit on the shoulder. Hit the wall here. Yep. Oh, oh, went for some cheeky. Okay. <laughs> went, yeah, I assume that's to try to catch Bailey standing up. Four, four, Ooh, three wow. counter hit. That might, I don't think that's it. That might be it. Yeah. Not quite. No, yeah. not quite. 
Yeah. Now for one takes it. When, once he, he started responding, right? You yeah. can see the shift of the game just instantly. That's how much it matters sometimes when you don't take like your launch punishes like that. Those are yeah, those are full launches. Yeah. That's like 40% per, right? Right, exactly. But more importantly, because I think this matchup specifically, uh, if the wall is just really, really important in Nina Feng, right? Both those characters want the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, so on top of that, you know, you get the wall carry. And then you have ability to set up and really make sure that you're like, hey, I can do the damage here. Right. But you get the wall pressure, right? And they both, the characters both also have options to get away from the wall a little bit, but still, it's, you still want the advantage in that situation. Right. So Bailey will take it. We got our top four set for winners. Nice. Alrighty. Sean and Miles. Should be a cool matchup. I think Sean has definitely been still playing quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, so if there's one, like, he's got it. He's always, he's pretty much always the favorite to come in every time to come in here. But it probably is made even more so by the fact that I think he's been playing pretty consistently. Right. And, uh, but I'm interested to see. Because a lot of these people here, they have their character sort of. Like, you have the character in eight. But Sean is one of the, he's like one of the guys who, his, none, of, none of his characters are really in Tekken 8. So it's going to be interesting to see which direction he ends up going. Right. Oh, okay. cool. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Because I know he was picking up he was picking up a little bit of Maven. Uh, right. I heard some of that he was playing a little Lily. He was playing a little Lily, too. He, put, he put, busted out Lily at a few of the Tucson tournaments. All right. Um, played a little bit of Maven. So obviously Raven, it, it could be a possibility. Um, Honestly, I think there's a decent chance he just picks up a new character entirely. Right. Oh, oh that's yeah, so, All right. I will wait. Waking up the restroom, but uh, so I'll stick around for a few extra. But I gotta go play. But uh, we're gonna see here. But anyway, yeah. So Sean's an interesting, interesting uh, little bit of talent development here to figure out what he's gonna want to do. All right. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He knows. But we'll see. Um, yeah, I, I kind of, I, I just get like Azu, possibly. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, he played, he was playing a little bit of uh, Nakas for a bit there. Maybe Victor's on the table. I don't know. Victor looks really, really interesting. And I feel like the fact that he's just a new character in general is going to have everyone turn their heads. All right. I might be back. If not, uh, check you on the flip. All right. Some knowledge, not too bad, so we can commentate this. Elisa got Sean, Sean, or more specifically Marduk versus Elisa. Is he gonna actually change here? Not this. This, this might actually be a really good choice here. I think he's doing this for the matchup's sake. Um, but Sean does have the knowledge check for us. So if he plays correctly, see how it goes for him. Get ready for the next battle. I love Noctis outskirts for this. <laughs> Round one. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 15 is a great game. Yeah. Yeah. You can see right here, nice, nice, head with a good pressure here. Okay, pose. Nice. No full conversion, that's okay. We can, they're playing fairly safe here. Okay. Taking the damage where we can get it. Nice, we're conversion here. No full damage. Just 
missed enough. I'm not able to confirm there. It's okay. A little wall pressure here. We're back into the regular game. All oh, no. Number two. Beautiful. Number two. Nice. He's super plus there. Round three. Fight. Yeah. You're just gonna have to make a small adjustment here if you're gonna want to take back these rounds. Good. 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 Wake up, Good. Good. We haven't seen Sean land a combo yet, you know, it's all just chip damage he's getting, which is not a dream. He's doing a good job about putting him in plus playing situation. He's been very patient about making sure to respond the right way, and it's exactly why if you play the frame correctly, you will get rewarded in this. Beautiful again, and then that's gonna finish the first game. Now we're gonna see, um, I, he's gonna stick with the Noxus. I think he trusts the matchup here that is in his favor is going to switch maps so maybe with the balcony hovering over island i think that would be a good option he's thinking no he decides to switch characters welcome to the king of iron fist tournament i think this is Lisa Boskinovich. i think this is the better choice i think this is the most comfortable pick for sean kind of play more of his game rather than playing into the, the matchup. Now we're on infinite. It's going to be very interesting with no walls and no wall pressure. We're just going to have straight fisticuffs is what I like to call them. We already see a small no, shift in momentum here. As long as the shot continues to put on the pressure to some degree, we're gonna have he can he can take this round for this whole set. He's playing he's playing really safe. Not, not going for anything that's gonna get him a lot of punish. He's playing really safe with his range. And if he keeps doing that, he plays consistent. He's gonna keep getting the damage. Look at the damage there. That's why Mordok is Okay, she dodged. No. Wow, that is just that ducks that duck slows and she does not move there. There's nothing to hit. Nice good break. That's something she, if she doesn't break that at the full combo from Marduk, and this is great. Now we see the momentum shift again and Alicia keeps on the pressure. Let's see what Sean's gonna have to adapt there. That's a decent choice, but she's going over it. She's starting to see that these lows she can challenge for. <laughs> I always go bad if it breaks her arms. Nice get ducks. Oh, that's you don't get something out of that. Okay, gets the standing wake up. Just gonna put him at 10% health. He's gonna have to shoot right. He does not. He says playing really well. Switching the momentum back again in the favor. Not staring away just because you keep on the scene that you can see. Play consistent, play with the data, play with the screen. You can take matches. Just for again, okay? She was in the air, couldn't float that. We're gonna see a little bit of a slow play. No one wants to commit to anything they can't for sure guarantee. Oh, some choice there. Good read. Nice, beautiful counter hit. It's gonna be good damage. She's gonna like this. 
Nice. Does not read the low. Reads the second low. This is good. Exactly what Sean wanted. Scares him method for the last round. He can take this bet. Good break from Lisa. Good duck. Hard duck. to watch. It was actually back and forth, back and forth as we see the rounds trickle. We did that disaster, but the Elisa ends up taking that game. Stations six and seven are open for casuals. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist 
Tournament 7. Cool. Nina Williams. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. This switch actually might be interesting. Round I mean, he's a figure hitbox, but who knows what he's going for here. I mean, I'll just be checking up for Bailey. This, this might, it could be in his favor. We're going to see how Bailey responds to this. And he is on the phase. Because right now, he is getting as much chip as he can. Good break from the Puma. The setup there doesn't confirm. You know what Dev's going with here. Nice. Bring it safe again. Not too shabby. Already look at the damage. Already getting good amount out of that. KO. Bailey shuts it down. Round four. Fight. There's moving. Okay, nice. Real nice little Kuma hop kick. We like it. Gets the wall. Wall break. No wall break. That's punishable. I think he missed it there. Uh, uh, like the floor is too beautiful. Power press goes to set up. He reads it. Daily is aware. The bear cannot block when he's rolling. Beautiful. What's this scary? Gonna get another one. Yup. Oh, he got You win. And no, this is two. This is not winning finals yet. That was two. That is two. That is two. I mean, ain't there yet, but good. I mean, even losing that, it's gonna go down to losers. I mean, going to win the semifinal is still not bad. Dev, I think, is gonna get put up against Dizzy for this. Maybe I can commentate a little bit better here on this one. I know the king knowledge a little bit more. I'm glad you the Kuma. One thing I'm gonna miss in this game is this music. I need to just own the soundtrack in this game.
by myself, Daniel. <laughs> so we're gonna have a lull here in uh, matches here uh, for a little bit. Uh, there is one match we could play that's winners finals, but we're gonna try to wheel it down to top four before we get to that. Um, from there, one of our matches that we were just about to have here on stream, as you can see on screen, that was Earn Nasty versus Thunderpants. One of them is having issues with the controller syncing for whatever reason to the console. He's using an Xbox controller with a Brooks converter, and he hasn't had any issues with it. Uh, I mean, the station has been on so far today, but for whatever reason, he's having issues. So they're going to go try on a different off-stream setup. So we're just going to be kind of hanging out and chilling until another available match comes up. We'll be into the top six as soon as those two matches are done. Those are Earn Nasty versus Thunderpants and VMGF versus Desi. So I imagine, uh, given that they haven't even started yet, VMGF and Desi will be finished first. And we'll have the winner of that facing Sean Dude here on stream next. In the meantime, you can have this ear grating music. Just kidding. <laughs> Some people love it. You know, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just jazzing. It, it ain't my cup of tea, but you know, I like it. But after a few minutes, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I've heard enough wub wub. Turn down the wub wub a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah, sometimes I miss the old Tekken music in the sense that it's a little bit more methodical. Uh, now it's just like high beat, intense, nail balls to the wall type of music, but it does set the tone for the matches a lot of the times. And yeah, it was I really could cool. see, see the pros and cons. I mean, coming from my games, at least uh, people enjoy your music and. and uh, <laughs> yeah, really? Right? I mean, like, <laughs> DOA's music is like. It's like Mortal Kombat music. It's oh, like, it's okay. like it's not, it's, I don't want, I want to say it's like Mortal Kombat music, but I mean, like, how much people talk about it, how much people enjoy it. It's, oh, okay. it's in that yeah. that realm. It's like, gotcha. who talks about Mortal Kombat music? Heck, nobody, dude. Okay, they got it to work. That's so weird. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna wait. Has the OA always had that type of music throughout its like, um, franchise? There have been some really cool tracks that I really liked back in like two, three, mm -hmm. and some four, but five and six have been honestly pretty forgettable. <laughs> in my humble opinion, two zero. All right, take a couple minutes and then we'll because they had issues here. Take a couple minutes and then we'll get you and Sean dude on stream. You good to go? Okay. All right, sure. Yeah. Yep. Hey, Sean dude. All right, so the beast that is the MGF, he's just going to truck right on through to his next match, and we're going to have him versus Sean. Coming up now. They're taking their sweet time, and I really want them to get out of this menu here. <laughs> Freaking, uh, we'll get Paige over there showing off his OLED deck to... Oh, the to the other people, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got one of them too. They're really nice. Yeah, I've been I love that. them. The OLEDs yeah. are super. Su I mean, I enjoyed the system already, right. but the OLED is like it's it's more than just a screen kind of thing. And I'm I know for anybody that's been paying attention to like reviewers on YouTube and stuff like that, yeah. like you've been hearing earful of it. But like it's true. Like the, um, there's a lot of quality of life improvements about the machine comparatively to it's it's a pretty amazing midlife cycle refresh so yeah, that's good it's cool oh whoops that's not right do, that's not do they charge more i assume for like an OLED? no or actually no? you're getting more for the same price so what they did is they took their old line so they had three um tiers right they had the the base model which was like 128 i think gigs and then 256, and then a 512 gig was their old tier list, oh. and that was 400, 550, and 650. 
now they still have the standard LCD 400, but it's now a 256 gig. Um, oh, wow. Their tier two is the first OLED model. It's a 512 gig um, at the 550 mark, and they kept the top tier at the same um, 650 mark, but gives you a terabyte instead of just a five. Right. So, and then the other the other two missing mm -hmm. the of uh, the tier two and tier three of the old LCDs, they're selling it at they're selling them both at much reduced prices until they run out. Right. On supply. Ooh, interesting. Because I've been considering trying to get one, just because I own so many games on Steam, and then I also play PC um, tech on Steam. Yeah, I mean, like, you gotta know what you're what you're what you're paying right. for. It's still a, a budget kind of yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. PC, uh, portable PC, but um, I mean, you can still play if you're willing to survive with 30 to 45 frame rate AAA games. You can still play AAA games on them on there, and that's it's cool. It, it works fine. But for a lot of the, like you know, indie games or emulation, especially, it's 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 a phenomenal phenomenal machine. Or yeah, any other game that's not like super uh, graphically intensive, or very demanding. Anyway, here we are. I gotta fix the. Not typically a losers match that we see. Granted, we are really far in bracket. This is losers quarters, right. but Two. typically not a losers match that we see unless it's like semifinal or finals. Mm -hmm. If it's even a losers match, usually this is like winners finals here. Right. But Kawhi face Miles edging out Sean dude earlier. Billy Blue beating Dev. I don't remember how early game GF. Oh, Billy Blue also beat VMG. This fade is making the difference. Round three. Sean's playing a really good playing game right now. He continues to do that. He can fit this round here. He gets a wall with the carry. Oh, now he's going to go for an OP setup. Oh, oh beautiful down parry. Damn. Nice. Okay, it's free. What are you gonna, how are you going to complain? Thank you so much. Sure, all misses it. That's a decent amount of damage with the setup here at the bottom. Good sidestep. This is the wall. That's, That's gonna right kill. That yes, kill. sir. Okay. Wow. Round that was four. good. That was the right choice. We're gonna have a small momentum shift here. Sometimes that matters. Depending on the confidence and on your on your ability to play. You see Sean taking advantage of it here. He's gonna get the wall as well with the damage. Decides to wait it out. Good choice. Not gonna be able to break this one though. Reads the right one. Good space to create resistance here. Nice. Good reaction. Able to still get that. Oh, tried to get the conversion aside. Kind of saves VMGF, but not for the whole round. Sean New going up. 1-0. Oh. Interesting. Not expected change. You might know something we don't. We're gonna go to. Have I seen him play Julia? I think I have yeah, seen him play Ju play Julia before, but I don't know about it in tournament. Mm. He may have. Goodness, it's, it's it's really slipping my mind. But here we are. It's still just a first to two. Banking it all okay, on Julia here. here goes. That's littering, sir. <laughs> Come on, how are you gonna do that to the mirror of the world over there? Yeah. I know it's only the first ten seconds. See, but it's still feeling a little stiff. BMGF. Just a little bit. I think it's gonna take him like a little bit, maybe around round and a half to get into the Julia groove. Nice, 
trigger is good. Nice. Oh, good with punish there. Oh, that's... No, my goodness, really. I thought... I thought wrong. That's what happened. Nice, he reads the side roll, that's great. That's good to get that damage for free there. Is it just substantial? He just plays safe right here, he takes the ground, he doesn't have a risk or anything really. Ooh, good spacing here, good on that space up. Round three. Fight. Alright, all off-stream stations are open for casuals. I can't believe he just killed her. Yeah. Oh, good choice. Yeah, that's beautiful choice here. He's not gonna have any drops in those. Oh, good parry. That's a knowledge check right there. He knew the last part of that string. Show his rock. He's gonna eat it. Decent damage here. He doesn't get that launch there, but it's alright. Julia does. She might be able to kill. That was Rob. not, yeah. That, oh, uh, and that's gonna kill. Speaking of killing. Good go, Goose. Gotta respect still going for a change mid set. I mean. It's many music. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's from that Weeb Ninja game in the background there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I've told this, this story to several people. You know how I got that Ben Daniel there? Oh, on the, yeah. So my name is Daniel Benitez, right? Right, right, right. Um, so I was just like, I created a second account, both as a player too, but also as a uh, Japanese account. So I use that to access the Japanese PSN and stuff, so oh. I can install games from there. Mm -hmm. um, and I just called it Ben Daniel because I was like, I don't know, whatever. I'll just flip the name. Yeah. <laughs> and I've had people, unironically, like in a lapse of judgment, or I guess, they've unironically 
asked me in the spur of the moment, like, hey, is that your brother? Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. no, right? dude. <laughs> not even the same last If Daniel's a last name, <laughs> not even the same last name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> too, this is too funny. So, was, so now it's a running joke. And yeah. People are always like, "Yo, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play Daniel's brother." <laughs> That's funny. It's as soon as you said story, I thought the same thing too. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, is it?" Is it <laughs> <or> <laughs> the, the funny part <laughs> is like, there's multiple uh, uh, brothers of mine that have their accounts on there. Right. You can see them following it, <laughs> like further down the list. Mm -hmm. I think I have like three or four of them on there. I have five brothers. And oh, so I think three or four of them on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is still loser's bracket, still first to two. After this is completed, we'll be in our top four, and we'll swap back over to winner's finals, which will be versus uh, Miles versus Bailey. Oh no, I can't believe Smash Melee died over there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> too many shines? Yeah, too many Fox shines. <laughs> 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 Couldn't deal with it no more. <laughs> Bidding Kingdom. My beloved to uh, make the PS4 load for 20 minutes. <laughs> this is a great map for King because every time he gets his finishers off combos, like we might see it now, he's gonna break the floor or he's not gonna grab it, he's gonna get the wall here. Such a great map for King. All the damage he wants. Oh! Wow. The spring kick gets him away from the low. Wow. And is it going to get him wow, with the ramp? That's it. That's dead. That's, that's, that's hella dead. dead. That's, oh my goodness. That's hella dead. Great choice from the Kuma. Reset the combo there to get a full, no scaling off that next combo there. Really good choice. Oh, I would. In my head, I was going to whiff punish two and still get hit by yeah. that, that last bear double paw. Yep, this is the break of the floor I was talking about. We're gonna go downstairs, gonna get the wall again. Oh. Not much you can get off of. <laughs> At least given the <laughs> the bear antics, man, that's what I like to call it. I mean it's like you don't know if he's like just rolling or if he's doing the attack roll. Right. So exactly. it's like, uh, mm. And the hitboxes, the hit sphere or whatever they use in this. I think it's cylinders actually. The hit cylinders are so freaking large. Right. On it. It's like, I mm, can't really like whiff punish it. It's really difficult to. It's not impossible, but anyway. Good. Oh, break. yes. For sure. That's punishable right there. Nice. Good try. Good. Off here. Good here. My man's prepping for his Haihachi. Kuma. Haihachi clone. Dude, Haihachi. Kuma getting Haihachi's moves is going to be really, really interesting. <laughs> and we're going to see some Kuma players that are really happy about that. <laughs> it always just looks funny every now time. Look, if there's anybody that parties or tries to party as much as Yoshi plays, it's very players. Yeah, so I can see that. Right. Most, most definitely. Yoshi is number one, no doubt. Oh, wow. Beautiful choice. Oh. Okay. okay. Another lease on life. Nice. Playing safe here. He's going to be really safe. He also take this. Can he be perfect? Oh, my goodness. He gets two truck chances, but not three. <laughs> 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 if you guys can Stunner Pants is not happy. <laughs> he <laughs> hates everything that just occurred. Yeah, if you hear him right now, he's talking about how he needed that. That was for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Catch the crowd there. They're really roaring. They're all there. The thing is, he's like an animal, right? He can see the spirits that are there. We can't. So there's actually a whole ass crowd watching this thing. <laughs> Oh, oh! Wow, I've never seen that. I didn't know yeah, you could do that. Yeah, I didn't know that roll <laughs> caused that. I didn't know that was a hit reaction. What the? Oh, that's the punishment for sure. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Round two. Nice. Fight. Good break. That's cool. Spacing off of nine. Counter. Yeah, yeah. Gonna get the wall here. Good damage. Oh, it doesn't finish. It doesn't finish the wall standing two two. Oh, oh no, not what he on. wanted. It's a good good choice. Good break, good. Ooh. Oh. Like, so safe right now. This that was such a crazy exchange for both players. Round good three. defense from both of them, but dead edges it out. Wow. What a crush! Are you kidding me? Great damage here. He wants this for sure. Maybe at least half of his health, maybe a little bit more. Sunder's gonna have to make the adjustment here. Nice. Yeah, there we go. That's what he wants. Not gonna get the sidewall kind of saved Dev there. Oh. So take this round. Oh, he's gonna get the conversion. This is the conversion here. A little bit too much far for him. The what a block. Dude, that's it. That's it. That's so it. Yeah. As soon as that power crush was happening, eating the. Nice work. The Molly Pop. <laughs> no one knew. All right. We're in the top four, so we're gonna do winners finals. Miles versus Bailey. <laughs> I like to see it though. I haven't really get to see a Kuma. Nice play here at the locals. Good to see. guys with some more what gloves. Not gonna last as long this time. <laughs> I hope. I'm sure. I know Bailey exists. I just saw Miles walk by. She's grabbing her grabbing her control device. I don't know what she uses. Does she use the stick? It looks like it. Oh uh, yeah, I believe she was. I was watching. Uh, I was watching her her first game, and she played really well too before the strong game. So if she continues the momentum she has now. Um, she's definitely been playing really well. And we're probably gonna see Elisa versus Nina. I think it's the matchup here. Which would be good to watch. Oh, this boring PS background music. Where's where's my where's my anime ninja waifus? Oh, there they are. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> There's two of them. So yeah, you see them right there. Yeah. Right to the right. Chris <laughs> oh, and Nathan yeah. are two of my brothers <laughs> that are on this machine. Actual brothers, not Ben Daniel. <laughs> that's my that's that's the, the negative version of myself, I guess. <laughs> you in a different timeline. <laughs> I can't believe that man's dead. It's finally happened. What kind of resurrection lore BS do you think they're going to give him? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> We're going to see something, though. No surprises here. Tried and true mains coming out. Elisa versus the Infinite has been. A lot of random selects have been putting off in the Infinite, and I think 
I feel like when you play on infinite ma uh, maps, you're not dealing with a lot of wall pressure and the wall in itself. So you're right. Yes, that's how that's how infinite works. <laughs> Zero walls, so you're not dealing with it whatsoever. But yes, it definitely changes the dynamic, Round one. as you say. Fight. I think this the open area favors Elisa more. But let's see if Bailey can overcome that. Pretty convincing. Nice, is gonna get a good punish here. Full damage, Lisa. The patience, we like it. Sidestep, that was really well done. Just a slight adjustment, you can live. It's just whenever your movement's on point like that, all it takes is just a small minor adjustment. Wow. Oh, good call out. Gets the retaliation on the low crush. That those, those hop kicks have been paying freaking dividends for Miles today. She's landed. I'm not gonna give an arbitrary number, but it's definitely been a vast majority of her attempts. Mm -hmm. And even the ones where she didn't get the launch and she didn't punish, she didn't really get punished for it. Right. Oh, what a step. walk. Kill? Not really quite. Cool. Not without a wall. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, Ooh. with the drugs. The dick punch. The infamous yes. dick punch plus seven, baby. One of the best moves in the game for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we say for some reason, but have you been hitting the dick? Absolutely. I play Hellraiser, so that's the best I response mean. I get. Mean. So. <laughs> so I think we all understand <laughs> yeah. why it's so good. <laughs> it's probably a plus eight in real life. <laughs> in there like, oh. Dude, that thing's more than a plus eight IRL. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That thing's like a plus maybe eight minutes at <laughs> least. Oh, now he's going to be able to come right here. Choice comes in mid. As I live and breathe, top kicks. Again, able to get the goes for it again. Time. Oh, oh <laughs> my goodness! She said he can't deal with it. Yeah, I mean, Miles was noticing Bailey was not dealing with him whatsoever at the end of the round. I mean, it's not like Bailey had life to give, right? So exactly. it made Bailey really hesitant, and that gave Miles with uh, the room be a little disrespectful. Like sometimes it, it it's really important to just know when to flip that switch. Being disrespectful is a huge mind game. Mm -hmm. Dashes. Look at this. This is good. Creating space. Oh my goodness. Now it's on the opposite spectrum of what I was talking about the last yeah. round, right? Round now two. Nina's sitting there, like making Elisa all hesitant. Alright. I like the, yeah, I like the advantage. Closing the distance. Yeah, very smart. Very smart to start utilizing his power crushes uh, to contest Miles' uh, running. Was it running two? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah running two. Thank you, thank you. 
Ooh, nice. <gasps> the infamous, it always works, man. As it I live and breathe. There was an attempt on a sidewalk there at Bailey. Just couldn't get all around the hitbox. Shine the shoes. I thought that well, was it well, right there. Well, here's the, here's the thing. She can, even on block, she can really delay the, the follow-up, right? right? So it's, it's you got you to gotta be a little bit respectful. Mm -hmm. It's hard to call out. That's her. Nice. Counter hit low. Get the follow-up there. Good break. Switch sides. Oh, side. that punish was going to happen regardless. He was, Bailey was ready with that dug. Oh! Oh. Nice. Oh. Season the blue stuff. Throw out blue everywhere. Here, there. Tying it up. Bailey. It's done, it's done. <laughs> Back to infinite. Let's go. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. Yep. My, uh... My claim was correct. Yes, it's it's yes. validated because I don't actually play the characters. <laughs> so seeing the Lisa player actually pick the infinite stage, yeah. I don't feel as dumb as I may have <laughs> otherwise been. Round one. Fight. Oh, round start, huh? Just like that. No foreplay. We're just gonna open up. Nice, so we get here another level two. Okay. Nice. There we go, yeah. There, there's, a, there's a certain point at, at her drop distance that, yeah, she's not going to be able to do the follow-up. So, good job on Billy recognizing that. I, I feel like it is easier to to recognize that when it's a whiff versus blocking the, the rising knee first. Right, right, exactly. Oh. Oh. Blue. Oh. There's some Hail Marys going on here, yeah. let me tell you. She, yeah. <laughs> he has low health, but does not care. Fight. Not the best punish, but something's better than nothing. 30, 40% life there, just three strings. About to make the difference here. Not even, nice, good low. Pick up low. Nice. <gasps> Caught ducking. Ooh, beautiful counter. We're gonna need a combo here. Good low. Nice. Way to wait it out. There oh, it is. Little that little should be round. round. KO. Yes, sir. Round three. Fight. One, two, three strings that are just doing a lot of damage for the Lisa. Oh, good. Good punish there. Okay, one, two. Makes a good break. Nice. Exactly what you're supposed to do there. Oh! Oh, not. Oh, maybe we want something else. She'll still take it though. Ooh. Oh! I thought I was gonna do another one yeah. too. At least. He's going for the chip damage. Not a bad choice. Takes the round. So able to take the round. It's getting really tight here. So we see some of the behaviors. We're just being a little bit more careful about what we're throwing out. Good punish. Oh, get them chainsaws out of here. So now you know, if uh, Leatherface is ever chasing you, just dick punch him and you're good. <laughs> you square. <laughs> it seems to work. 
Uh, oh, Ooh, okay. down for it too. Nice, good look. Michael Friggin, no, decides not to. Wipe the floor, doesn't get a hit. Oh, is that good? Oh, see? Nice. See? Now that even the threat of the dick punch was enough yeah, to yeah. dissuade. Get them chainsaws out of my face. It's a lot yeah. of pressure. Oh! I like these micro dash advances. They're making her decide do I press here? Do I move? Do I wait? And just that half second, you can catch them. Ooh, three of them. I like it. Okay, nice little soft punch there. No, no. break off the throw. He's going to get the full extension here, probably. Oh, does not. Just gets the two. How many parts is that one? Three total? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <gasps> that was Got so watch. clutch for Bl Bailey. Yeah, if he did not trade there. Oh, but never mind. It's oh, <gasps> a drop into more blue nice. and the slide. Gets, oh, gets no. That is crazy how much matters sometimes. How unfortunate for uh, Miles. That was her round She when she, when she connected in Rage Drive. <laughs> I'm going to say that was POS for things. <laughs> and as much as I would like to run on PC, I don't have the means to make that happen. So we're going to be on PS5, boys, <laughs> for, for Tekken 8. Yeah, that's me too. <laughs> My PC broke earlier this year. So well, playing. I mean, I could do whatever I want personally. But I'm talking about for running oh, events. Oh, yeah, I got for you. For running got events. You. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Plus, I think most of the most of the tournaments <gasps> oh. are going to be ran on five, right? I imagine. Like uh, as far as majors go, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 it would be. Oh, stop in the blue stuff! I think that was the first stop we had. Yes, it is. Uh, maybe not even the set. I don't know of anyone getting their drive stuff today. Mm -hmm. At least I don't. Not that I recall off the top of my head. Nice. Just some damage here. We always like that. Doug goes for it again. Nice punish. That's a good punish. That's the punish that we want right <gasps> now. All these the stagger pressure from Bailey is paying off. Ooh, way to close the gap. That was way to close so the good. round. Bailey has My the momentum man. here. Miles, what do we got to see different out of Miles here? Yeah, she is kind of playing the same game. As much as it's been working for her throughout the night, I think she might need to make a much small adjustment here. Oh, that's punishable. Yes, there we go. That's decent. We can get some money off of that. Nice. Goes for it again. Counter hit. No follow up. Load of late. Gets oh. the third string counter hit. That's going to be good damage. Knocking on. Yup. And okay. Nice. Last Little chance. Oh. What a forced what? whiff, but <laughs> yep, yep. the lying down recovery. Just gonna relax here for a few frames. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll just wait it out. All right, I'll step off the commentary here. I'm just gonna get something to drink. Well, it's not over for Miles. She's now up sitting in the losers finals, waiting to see the result of Dev versus Sean, dude. This will be a loser semi, so it's still a first to two.
Uh, that one's good. It go to the other one. This one? No, 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 no. Go back out of audio, and go to. Uh, is it devices further up? Devices, audio devices, and output, output. No, further up. That one, yeah. Change it back to TV. Yep. Damn, remember Windjammers 2? Oh, Pepperidge miss, Farms remembers. I kind of miss Windjammers. I mean, we could play any time, really. If we ever feel like hopping on. That's true. You remember, remember Rival Mega Gun? Pepperidge Farms remembers. Damn. We should play Rival Mega Gun 2. Uh, there's two? No, as well. Huh. <laughs> there's not going to be a two because Unity ruined it. <laughs> Actually, he's uh, the de developer's working on that. Uh, Co-op action RPG. I remember hearing something about that. I'm trying to let me pull it up. Heads up, there might be titty. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, as I live and breathe. <laughs> uh, what's okay. I think it's RJ. This is. His yeah. So this is what he's working on right now. Is it? No. No, that's the turn-based strategy that I saw. That ain't, that ain't RJ. What's his name? Uh, okay, hold up. I actually got That's okay. Saved. It's okay. All right, we're good. All right, this is good. Uh, Maybe type in Rival Mega Gun, and then we can see his stuff? Possibly. No, where's the developers? It is RJ. Okay, so this isn't the one I was thinking of, but where's this other development? This. This one. This is what he's working on. Oh, yeah, I've seen the uh, landscaping that they're doing. I haven't seen any combat yet, but that's cool. Oh, Tom, you can make that comeback, the blue stuff. Oh my god, what a comeback by Sean, dude. Just a pixel alive for like 20 seconds. How could he do this? There you go, there's a little bit. That's four seconds snippet. Nice, nice. But anyway, yeah, action RPG, kind of isometric view. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be co-op. I don't know how many players. I'm in. Now, uh, I don't know much about Dev as a player. I saw him playing Kuma last time. He has consistently been uh, the furthest reaching at Evos for Tekken for our scene. Really? Even though, even though Sh Shandu generally is the one that takes the locals, Dev has has been, but he mostly plays Kuma. Yeah, that's his main. Um, he'll occasionally pull out other characters that he's toying around with. And this month's flavor is has been Leo. Okay. But if he gets in a pinch with Leo, you'll see Kuma again, as he did it earlier against uh, Bailey, I believe it was. Oh, I missed that match. I saw the Thunder Patch, man. Thunder Pants match. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was sick. I'm number one. I'm number one. I'm number one. He had to reassure, reassure himself a second time. <laughs> Hey, the first time he could be lying, you know? He just had to make sure. <laughs> he heard someone in the back of his mind. Are you really? <laughs> and he said, oh, I'm number one. <laughs> just, that small doubt, so overpowering.
Oh, POS4. Struggling. All right. We're hey, in. It's on the end of its lifespan, too. I'm going to bury you. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think about it, man. That's going to suck. I'm going to have to bring. Oh, God. PS5. Multiple as well. consoles. <laughs> on the axis is from now on. Not like this. It's like one of the few songs in this game that I actually <laughs> I kind of like. I guess uh, my question for you is, uh, are you still keeping it to just PlayStation only, or are you going to switch to a PC setup? Because at least DOA is still on PC. Do I look like I can supply PCs around here? I, I could. Multiple PCs, no. enough to get Tekken. Okay. You're right, you're right. Enough to get Tekken running. Sorry, we're a little jank right now in Street Fighter. <laughs> Only the Street Station's PC. I mean, you also got like uh, so a few select venues, or only one that I know of, that actually has a full range of PC setups that are all the same hardware. That's true. So it's, it's actually, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ah, yeah, whatever. Actually, do you know if... Tekken 8 runs at 120. No idea. I haven't played it. haven't really looked oh at the beta no. much. Now, now we're talking about stream woes right now because that's the main reason the stream station's only on PC. So we could run it at 120. Luckily, Street Fighter runs pretty similar for both PS5 and PC. What a sidestep. Get away from the low wake up kick. That was Great so read. smart. We're on set point here for Sean, dude. Oh, yeah, this isn't even first of three yet. Nope. Oh, my God. Good challenge there from uh, Dev oh. with the crush. Final round. Fight. All right, what's the guess? Guessed correctly. We're in. Oh, a nice tech there from Dev. <laughs> Them short legs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that good? Uh, no, the drop, but. Sorry, he also has a Dudley. Dudley happened. Crouch roundhouse Dudley. He still has doubters. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Who be doubting? And then we get the uh, run back, right? Uh, yes. Yes, I expect I expect um, Sean Dude to not lead off with Noctis this time. Ooh, is that what happened? Yeah, he led off with Noctis, lost, and then he switched to to Marduk and lost again. It was not a 2-1, it was a 2-0. Oh. Did not know that. That's rough. Here, let me let me swap it, swap it, cause of chords. Swap it, cause of chords. Yeah, it's it's tough. I'm just right? saying, hey, look at look at that punch there. Hey, it's look at that much, blue stuff. There's too stuff. much damn stuff in this game. Need to streamline it. I'm thinking. Smash Brothers style, one direction, four directions and four buttons, 16 moves. No it's diagonals. It'll really narrow it down, that's no, for sure. No diagonals needed. Just four directions, four buttons. And even that's more, that, that, that's not Smash, that's a, uh, like what, PlayStation All-Stars? That's, that's the direction we're going, that's the dystopia that I've chosen. Was there more than one of those? No. This is just the one. Just right? the okay. one. Yeah. Okay. And I think it's going to stay that way. <laughs> right. Okay. I was, I I was trying to remember. I do remember 
playing uh, playing at All Stars like twice because one I of mean, my brothers had it, and because he, he really likes some of the PlayStation characters. It like it was fun, but like just like there was the mind-boggling decision where it's like you can only kill someone if you use a super, which is just like that's right, right? I just forgot. like so silly. Like why? Because now you know the chain's shifting the meta around. If you just make me, it would be pretty fun. They if you were just knock people closed off, off arenas. Closed off arenas, yeah. yeah. And then you can hit him with some whack, you know, wall I combo. I mean, we say it's like a bonehead decision in a way, but I mean, like, they're trying to differentiate themselves. I mean, because every platform yeah. fighter is all, you know, ledge things. They all followed Smash's suit. I mean, it works. I mean, it's it's a it's a fun mechanic to to play around. Yeah, but um, I just remember it's like every every game just turned into because like pretty much every character's level three basically guaranteed kill, right? I guess it was the risk is that if you could find a way to hit with level ones and level two, so you had more opportunities. But I feel eventually turned into just build up as much meter as possible to hit three, get the instant kill, and then start over again, right? Mm. Like a meter issue, uh, like, you know, Street Fighter Six. you watch Street like it, I feel like every time I watch it, it's like very much uh, revolving around like the usage of, le of level three supers. Uh, yeah. So yeah. it's like, you know, it's Management like of meter and into using level three, right? Like right, not, like not management of that meter, but management of the drive meter, right? right. So it's like, say, am yeah. I trying to recover meter here by use doing this level three? Or am I trying to maximize damage output by this level three? Yeah, so I do similar to that, but enough about that, I suppose. All right, uh, so this is going to be Losers Finals, top three. So congrats to our top three competitors for the swan song of Tekken 7 in Arizona. So, uh, yeah, so you did say that this is a run back. Yes, yes, uh, they, they met in uh, winner's semis earlier. The and chess, uh, Alyssa. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and then so, and Sean tried to get cheeky and play a game of Noctis. And, and he ain't dealing with that this time. Yeah, he also no. has more games to play with, though. He does. Both of them oh. do. God, that launcher does so much damage. Okay, nice. Really cognizant of the wall position in order you know, to get the optimal pickup. Whole thing. Oh. Yeah, that's one of those tricky strings where it leaves you so far away that if you try to uh, punish with a, a suboptimal button, you're just going to get launched. And oh. the feint into the two. Darn. All right. Last one down. Okay, down four. Chop. The Mongolian chop. Oh. That was a nice option there. Knocks out of the air. Size of one, I believe, I think. Okay. Just uh, pretty small poking here. I feel like Marduk games never last that long in the small poking department, though, because he's just got so many options to just make it so you're dead and dead, dead. Damn. How how much how big of a level of dead do you want to be? It's pretty dead. <laughs> Inter uh, yeah, uh, Sean is going a lot for... Oh, the tech catch. Sean's going a lot for shove, which is obviously a pretty decent choice. Uh, getting a lot of counter hits and then able to get pretty big damage. Yeah, I don't uh, recall exactly what some of the interactions were in the first match. I'm sure that's a, an adjustment made off of uh, his loss. Yep, these two are top players. They are adjusters. Oh, wow. At the very end, his big meaty hands caught her. Went right into the tackle. Nice oh. feint. Go for the two. No punish on the down forward one. Oh, very nice. Wow, what a step in the It's just, oh, no. But that, okay. Okay. It's all good. I gotta stop getting hyped for Miles every time. <laughs> every time in the last like couple sets. She, uh, she, well, she's just sitting on the other side this yeah. time, so she might not be able to hear us as well. But obviously, you know the the magical, you know, the undercurrent might be affecting her too. It might not be uh, audio. Oh, kind of hit standing four. Nice pickup. Full damage. Does it again? Oh, Sean, it press buttons there. Interesting. And again, is that the key? I don't think that's the key. I don't think that's going to work Sean too many more times, but uh, it I worked that I think the evidence time. is before our eyes. I mean, I, he might have thought that uh, Miles was about to uh, try to fly backwards, which would have been risky anyyway because she was very close. But, oh! Excellent Python, answer. Yeah, Python Explosion. Uh, Bardux, Sean included, love to use that move there because obviously he does a wall splat and gets you the nice uh, meaty Oki, that's but that'll dead. do it. Oh, no, not quite. No. I lied straight to everyone's face. Okay, see, that's I think that's what Sean was trying to Anterior catch was use. just the neutral. Oh, my God. That was sick. Sick, sick. Oh, but that didn't work that time. Excellent duck. Makes Thanks. the read on the high. Yeah. It was an interesting wall position because I feel like even if Miles does go for one of the mid-launching options there, it was going to be a tough combo to kill off of because the wall was in a weird spot. Sidewall probably saved Sean there if I had to guess. 
Uh, but we'll see what her strategy is going to be here. Uh, Bailey Blue waiting in Grand Finals. Very nice little character arc for uh, Bailey. So let's see if he can cap this off with another dub. He did win one of these, right? Yeah. Bailey, yes. Bailey did. He did. He, did. he pulled out the dubs. Got Nina on the on the event page, I assume. <laughs> Snow was. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure Vacuum Tech did one of those like top eight little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blip oh, I get to be on that thing. Cool. Nice. Yeah, hey, all right. Nice little. Well, sixth. if he decides to do that, I don't nice know. Little I'm too lazy nice for little tied for fifth. Oh, you know he's gonna do it. He's <laughs> he's all about it. I Build, mean, he is here in person. Building the brand. Okay, slap the face. Beach stage. Uh, I'm pleased to hear it because I get to hear the music in the headphones. Do you need to bury an android? I mean, like, don't you just <laughs> disassemble them? You can. Well, I uh, guess you could bury it, but like. You ever see that know. episode of uh, Futurama castle. where they leave Bender in the past and then they find him just because he was buried for like a thousand years? I have not. And he I was just like. I admittedly have watched very little Futurama. That's but I've right. definitely heard. I'm, I'm, I'm sure someone's talking about that. Oh, nice break. That was, the far, that was a far away break, too. That was probably going to be – that was tougher. Just doing uh, Do you know nice what the frame window is? Like uh, it's – I want to say when it's that far, it's like two frames. Dang. Oh, nice whiff punish. Got around the down three and was able to – whiff punish with a down four one was ready for it. Sean's turning it on a little bit here. Yeah, as soon as you see him start bouncing around. Yeah. He's very, he's very, he's good. Period. But like, he's another player who's like, you know, momentum is just makes him better. It's just like it's annoying because it's like, man, you were already so good. It's irritating. <laughs> 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 it's supposed to be like, you know, bad, and then you know, then you start feeling it. Okay, balcony break. Start down, Kitsch. Takes the throw to get the wall. Smart decision. Down four. Oh, counter hit. Standing. Uh, counter hit. Get up three. This should get close to the wall. Not quite to combo, but still a nice wall position, but nice counter hit. Yeah, we're yeah. in this corner, so now it's like anyone could end up with their back against the wall somehow. Yeah, but that'll do. Yep, back 2-2. Two, two. Plant the seeds. Back 2, back 2, yeah. Round three. Nice, yeah, nice combo conversion. Oh, the big the big swing. Yeah. The double axe handle oh. at the could vicious Could have gotten a better with punish, but, you know, something's better than nothing. Standing four counter hit. So important to Alyssa's game plan, I cannot imagine. Actually, I am interested about that. Uh... Since Magic 4s have been taken away from a lot of the cast, I'm curious as to what Alyssa's is going to look like. Nice punish. Oh, okay. Didn't get up. Good. Smart decision. Ooh, Ugh. that patience from Sean, dude. That's a nice, that's a really nice uh, pop kick punish that Marduk has because it gets a nice little bit of Oki out of it. Ducked him a Golian chop, but it was too far away. It was very interesting. Okay, going for, okay, going for fly. Nice. Good. Oh, my God. What Ooh, a call out. That was uh, sick. Nice. I don't, I don't know if Miles was looking specifically for down four or if she was just looking for any low low period, but that was uh, that was the right thing at the right time. Desperately needed. Okay. Man, that's a really good move, too. Oh, the neutral hop kick. No launch, but and still pretty chunky damage because I don't think Mark does any damage that's not chunky. Yeah, just keeping the pressure on. Marduk is just so difficult to fight at these ranges just because of the way, the, like, the length of his limbs. Oh, yep. what unfortunate, uh, well, fortunate for Shondi, for sure. Sh yeah. Unfortunate for uh, Miles, and Shondi going up 2-0 in this set. Like, Marduk's just got just dangerous buttons at that range. Like, you know, you might be able to beat him in speed, but if he hits you with any of said buttons, then you're probably, you're taking a, a pretty decent chunk of damage. Uh, and he gets into nice Oki, too. Um, so we'll see... I know, obviously, Miles has other characters. That uh, Alyssa is the go-to standby, but she does have other characters on lock. The Lily, interesting. Um, I don't know if it's gonna lock in though. Yeah. Okay. Well. Is. Well, we're still not completely okay. Now we are. My like my normal thought process is that if I don't see Alyssa, my next the next probably best guess is probably Xiaoyu. But at the same time, you know, got quite a bit of variety. So Lily's the interesting choice here. Obviously, um, Sean. Has played Lily, has won a tournament with Lily, mostly. Uh, has fought Lily quite a bit, so we'll see if it's interesting. But, you know, obviously when it comes to Lily, the, interest, the, the thing you have to ask yourself is that will a Lily player be able to use that sidestep movement to be able to get around some of Marduk's more, you know, riskier, big, big buttons. Sometimes they track a little more than you expect. Yeah, the hitbox in, tends to be wider. Uh, He's got on these big, body big old tree trunk legs yeah. and big old canoe feet. Oh, okay. Jab start. <laughs> big old what now? They're big canoes. He's wearing, those are basically Crocs. They're not, but they're basically Crocs. Oh, the whiff punish on the, yep, 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Take the, okay. 
I'm very patient with get up. You got me staring at his shoes now, dude. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out what's going on. <laughs> yep. Nah. Let's see. Oh, no punishing down forward one. Okay. Oh. All right, Wins, Wins nice. trying to uh, mad at all. Root of Evil. Oh, went for the big stuff. It's only minus 10. Sean did get a little bit of that little tiny uh, crouch dab of damage, but it's not a whole lot. Oh, wow. All right, that's just how we're going to start things off. My, like when we've gotten to the, the section where we have to make reads, Miles has had some pretty good reads, but uh, Sean's offense is just really, really stifling. Oh, just right in the shoulder blades. Oh, try <laughs> that's the same move. Try to whip punish it with the other thing. Oh, oh nice. That was, a big, that was the big strat. Where'd you learn that from? <laughs> Delay that's, hockey. That's the, yeah, right? <laughs> that's some of that, you know, relationship resonance. Nice. That's a big chunk, too. Okay. Wow. Yeah, see, Sean knows. Perfect sidewalk right to deal with pretty much every option that she could throw out. Uh, she has some stuff that, can, stuff that can catch it, but it's pretty low reward. Oh, another Again. beautiful step. Oh, and the tuck. Didn't he knows the strings. He knows. Sean, Sean did not believe, because obviously she can also, or Miles can also, uh, Miles can also, in that situation, Matterhorn out of uh, a 4 3 plus 4. Uh, so it's risky. Obviously, she'll die if she does it. But he did not trust that she was going to go for the big risk and decided to duck and was rewarded for it. So our, yeah, Tucson really has dominated Tekken 7. I'm going to say it. It's, it's just the truth of the matter. Uh, proud of them yeah, hate to some to extent. It. Yeah, I mean, the truth, you know, they, they really got together and they were working on it. Phoenix, you know, we have. To, I think we have to take some uh, some steps to really kind of come together as a region. Tucson's got like, you know, Tekken, the same, Phoenix is a bit disparate. By right? the same token, yeah, Phoenix is a larger area, so getting people actually together, it yeah. seems to be a little bit more difficult. It's just and you disparate. can't argue against Tucson having a free venue to be able to go Ooh. and play. Right. You know, I never thought of that. Yeah, you're right. Tucson was had way too many advantages, and frankly, nothing was really. Which good for them, because I mean, uh, we've talked about it before, I'm sure, but Tucson has just really struggled with venues for years it's prior to getting, prior to getting the, the police station. They're good now, you know. So. I don't think the police station's going out of business, so hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> right. Especially in Tucson. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they don't. You know that. You know the, you know the police down in Tucson oh are busy. My, yeah, you know good. they're keeping up with it. <laughs> They're too busy. They can't, even, they can't even keep them. Yeah, you could probably the, probably the safest place to shoot someone in Tucson is at the police station. All right, They're well, all out and about. Whoa, whoa chill. The perfect crime. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, the game has changed. That was un uh, that was inappropriate. Just saying, you know, they're yeah, they're too they're yeah, too yeah. spread out, right? It's like the eye of the hurricane. Can't like they can't see they can't see ideas. right below them. Uh, anyone, yeah, so we'll get anyone who's in Tucson that might be listening, stop listening for a second. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'll say sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cover up their ears like a five-year-old who <laughs> sees two. It's like a five, like a five-year-old in a Christmas movie who's like witnessing the final kiss or whatever, and they had to cover their eyes up. Like one of these Hallmark movies. Tis the reason for the season. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, it's Sean versus Bailey. Bailey um, had quite the run, beating up on some uh, pretty top-tier talent on the way up this way. Sure did. Let's see what he had going on. Flubbin, VMGF, and. Dev yeah, it's a pretty good pack. Miles. Flub, yeah, that's a pretty High good collection. Tier players for sure. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, obviously, this is Sean ready to go. Not going to use. No, he's fighting a fellow Tucson Denison. Is not going to use the bathroom tech. That's that's something reserved for the Phoenix. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was a nice tournament from uh, Kawhi Face Miles. It still blows my mind that uh, Victor got out of his uh, performance-enhancing eye drops phase. <laughs> that, that was a thing for a while. Yeah. <laughs> you take every competitive. Man. I, you know, knowing him, I was half expecting it to be to evolve to the classic taquito like tape measure. Make sure that your <laughs> face is perfectly the distance from the screen. Don't move your head the entire time. You gotta be able to see everything. You gotta take in all the information. That is so legendary. What a what an absolute legend. <laughs> it must not have been working as well though because he stopped right. But like he's like, eh, might as well try. Hey, 
Like I've done, I've done the math. I've done my experimentation. You, I've you realized know, that the you head know, distance. He may have gotten so good at it at oh, eyeballing the measurement. He didn't need the tape. That's anymore. way more what's happening is that he just knows he now. Knows. His, no he matter feels what, it. no matter what the size of the monitor, the distance of the monitor, the shape of the chair, he knows. That you're 100 percent right. That's that's he just he, he has ascended the tape measure. He has evolved beyond it. <laughs> ah. I, I'm, but I'm curious. Taking their sweet time, it's all good. Yeah, I thought Baylor was just busy uh, doing stuff on his phone, but he's just he just kind of chilling. They're waiting for the actual call. So we're, we're coming next. into we're coming into Tekken eight. Um, we're. Obviously, it's a bit different than in the past because obviously we've had a couple betas to try some stuff out. But uh, it's I'm super excited because the birthday tournament down in Tucson and then the Axis right after that is just it's the cool just seeing what people play, what characters people are going for, what tech they figured out right off the bat, who is adapted to the systems the fastest, which characters are the cheapest. Like I said, that's what makes uh, like launch weekend tournaments so interesting. Right, is like. There's so much jank and just like knowledge checks. No one has knowledge. No. So there's no. Everyone's gonna lose to the checks. Well, because well, and that's what like, Sean was asking. He's like, hey, should you, we wait like a week to give some people some chance to try some stuff out? I'm like, hell no. Day three, that's that's the dream. You, you can never. Yeah, you it's, can, it's usually pretty fun. Like, see, you can never see the thing. You can you can't have it again, right? Like, you don't get another day three tournament, right? Until Tekken Nine comes out. Like, you don't get it or Tekken Tag Three, whatever is the next one. But anyway, yeah. So it, it's I'm I'm it's, I'm interested to see. Uh, obviously, there are some characters, some players who I have a pretty good idea who we're gonna see from them. Obviously, probably expect the Steve or and the Claudio from from will get paid. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the King because I that's, I stick with what I know. Tech's talking about the Shao Yu. Get some Nina players in here. Yeah, Sean's the, Sean's kind of the wild card. I'm very interested to see what Sean ends up pulling out. Anyway, if y'all are out there hanging out, this is, uh, hope y'all are doing well. Don't catch you on the flip. I hope y'all are having, uh, happily up the holidays. I hope you have good holidays, too. What the? <laughs> okay, I obviously was, I was an absolute mess today because I, uh, launched Tekken on the wrong profile and I turned the PS4 off and I accidentally ejected the disc when I went to plug my controller in. You know what? Sometimes. Well, You're just done with Sony and everything's connected with tech. <laughs> someone almost just launched KOF 14. Not 15, 14, which is right, fine. I do not have 15 on my console. It's you only 14? on my PC. You got 14 Excuse on me, there? 14. 15 is on my PC and not on my console. I'm down. I'm cool with it. I'm down. Anyway, uh, so Nina Marduk is the expectation as per the usual for this final so we'll see, um, obviously, you know, two Tucson players. I feel like I say this, it's like a broken record every single time. They play each other a bunch. Uh, there's a whole bunch of meta evolutions that have happened off screen that we are not familiar with. So it's up to us to decipher them here, just looking at it, to see if there's any uh, adjustments, anything interesting happening. Well, Bailey's in the advantageous situation. Yeah, he has been here before. Uh, Sean is a tough guy to beat three games in a row, period. So it'll, we'll be, it'll be interesting to see if he can pull this out. But uh, starting on the geometric plane. Fight. Oh, just right off the bat, but good break. And right off the bat again because, you know, like you broke it once, yeah. But what about second break? Okay. Get up three, though. Didn't quite get the wall angle. Interesting. But was able to get a decent amount of damage in the wall. But Sean has fought his way up nicely. Nice punish. That's a nice chunky punish for that string. Ugh. Ops not to go. Oh my god, he read it like a book. Opted not to go for the, the tackle extension and instead was able to wake up, saw that Baylor's gonna roll, and then gets the. I believe that from that angle, it's un, it's likely unbreakable. I know Kings is, so I assume it has to be the same. Up forward three is so good. Oh, the counter hit. Bailey getting a little bit of itchy fingers there. That should hit the wall. Man. Boom. So much damage. So much damage. The other throw does so much damage too, but it's not as much damage, but it's still so much damage. Nice down four. 
Oh, no, the whiff is tough to deal with. Sending three, tackle gets taken care of. Goes for the faint. I feel like Sean's gone for the faint one into two every single time. <laughs> I hit, I was mashing two every time, and I broke them all, so I feel like he's just in a groove with that. He's like, hey, whatever, just vibing. Oh, nice step, but just a little slow on the punish. Nice chunky punish on the other way. Two grab, not broken, into the mount. There, he did it again. He's testing. He's setting up something big. Oh, wow. You don't see that very often. Uh, Bailey was good to get at least a little bit out of it. Man, shoulder tackle. God, it's just, Marnus just got so many just good moves. That's the whole, like, really the thing, the reason he's so good at those is he's got so many moves where it's like, this move is really, really good. Bro, I'm just sitting here out counting out money for top three, and it's over. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Marduk, Marduk uses... <laughs> Marduk, you, 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 Marduk, Marduk happened. You, you know better than the count money when the Marduk's on the screen. You had enough time to adjust to this. He's been out for years now. True story. Got some stuff taken care of. True story. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bailey with his signature Vermilion Gates. Very interesting. Um, That's true. He does like. I he never does. really paid attention, but yeah, he def definitely this is, likes to pick that. This is his go-to, and I feel like you know, for a stage that doesn't have like it has a balcony break, right? But for a stage that doesn't have a whole lot of like, here's the main advantage advantages, right? Uh, he does pretty well. Something about this stage is just vibing. Maybe it's the tune. Maybe part of the tune. Uh, maybe it's the tune. Music does definitely help. Okay. Ugh. So that was the one grab that time. Uh, Sean is really mixing up his throws. I feel like the last few times I've seen him, he's gone primarily for the one plus two grab off the bat, and then has adjusted if people start breaking it. From but from on this case, oh, that was such a smart tackle attempt because like. With the positioning, it was like, if he gets the tackle, cool. He gets the damage. If he, if he got broken, it pushed into the walls. Yeah. Oh, that was stupid. Like, from that, like, you know, from tackles from far away, you can react to them. But, man, reacting to tackles is so difficult. Nice whip punish on the down forward one to the wall. Okay, opted not to go for damage. Oh, my goodness. Well, Excuse me? Bailey's got the wall. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> you win. You got the wall. Please, nice. Please explain. Oh, never mind. Now, explain you to know, me like, like I'm five. You know, you know you can't keep it forever. Sometimes when a hit uh. sometimes when a disjointed hitbox and a disjointed hurtbox love each other very much. <laughs> they swap sides. <laughs> the sw the side swap. <laughs> Down forward one break, yeah. Nah, okay, the flapjack. Man, just yeah, Sean is on fire. It's so tough to get him to, br to break out of this. You really have to like ch you really have to kind of shift your entire way of thinking in paradigm. You have to like Throw something out, but that works. Side step two, always a nice option. Okay, should get the balcony break here. No, decides opts not to. Okay, punish, good. Oh my god. Every time. You're so excited to have the advantage against him, and then it's just like, well, no, you shouldn't have been, because he's got rage and he's gonna throw it out, and that's 2 0 for Sean, dude. So we'll, uh,. Move on. With it being a single button in this game, yeah, it seems it's it's so wonky. How it's it's the same way uh, Street Fighter Six like slows the hell down when a modern player yeah. has level three stocked, right? It's like these supers that get stocked and it's a one button ordeal. It's like holy cow, not fun. Yeah, I gotta be so careful. In fairness, for most of these rage arts, are just like one like one direction plus buttons, right? So it's. Not a huge disparate. Like, obviously, in modern Street Fighter, right? It's like, yeah, one button. Uh, and honestly, I don't even know if Sean, like, uh, taps Rage Art. Maybe he does. Yeah, but, yeah, like you were talking about, right? whether they do or not, yeah. the input itself you, is you never something mean, Yeah, difficult. yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Again. <laughs> it, it, it makes it, the, the low execution of it oh. makes it really easy to react with. I feel like in the past, Bailey has done really well on some of these throw grabs, but he is having a tough time right now. I think Sean knows that. I think that's why Sean's mixing it up as much as he is. Makes sense. Nice forward three counter hit. Chunky damage. Okay, two grab broken that time. Good. Down four. Oh, gosh. It's not a combo, but it might as well be. Got the wall. Python explosion. I would have ducked. I would have 100% expected the type of Python explosion again. Bailey was able to not duck, but uh, didn't really do much good in the end, so we'll see. Okay. Oh, my God. 
That is so whack. Nice combo, though. Yep. Nice little ender to get the wall. Aw. Oh. Knew Bailey's going to get up kick or had some sort of idea because definitely. Oh, my. What the what? What? Okay. Nice oh, shot. Thank you. I haven't really seen Sean to use that very much. It's a new one. It's hard to duck off the I mean, it's like what you were talking about earlier when at the beginning, before the set even started. It's like, well, what kind of trickery are they going to be coming up with? What kind of mind games do they already have going because they play each other so often? Yeah, sure. Oh, dude, that count. That was interesting. Man, that must, that must be a real tough conversion. I don't think I've ever seen the Nina convert off of that specific counter hit strength. Mostly because that never counter hits. Oh my god, all around. That'll do, I think. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. Back, back to two ends it. So that's the first set. Dusted. Done and dusted. Um, this is going to be tough. But. Resetting. Here. You have to purify your. You know, you got to meditate a little bit. Center yourself. Figure out what needs doing. I'm surprised he didn't take this amount of time to to consider and think during the first set. You know. Yeah, it's tough. I think it would have. I think it would have paid off for him. At least giving him some ideas to, or at least calm the nerves. But here we go. Yep. Set number two, reset. This <laughs> shirt don't fit so good no more. Down four. Man, uh, Sean has been placing those down fours super nice because I don't think I've seen Bailey block one. Uh, obviously, it's launch punishable, but uh, he's just in the right spot at the right time. Nice launch, nice, nice counter hit launch, though. That should be a good chunk. Gets the nice slap to the wall. Okay, that's the four again. Oh, okay. It, I like that. Okay, that's a nice, I think it's a real nice option to the wall. Nice quick, just like knock it off. Oh, and let it rip. Nice again. Bailey seems to, at least at the very least, if he was thinking about it, uh, he's like, I'm going to solve this issue with movement. Oh, all the way. Oh, yeah, that does do that now. Totally forgot. Okay. Nice. Chain grabs. Which way are we going? Oh, in the kidney. Okay, back one plus two. So that's two up for Bailey. Good, Very good start to this next set. We're going to see... Oh, left the can opener rip and is able to catch him with a second hit. Eey. Yeah, I feel like Sean's really been able to make a lot of most of, like his his mix, he's mixing up his offense extremely well. Uh, he's able to he's really digging into the bucket and pulling out pretty much every move. Uh, and then when off Alice fails, you're down two rounds again with the one two one fate into two. I'm like, what? oh, there we go. Okay, that was gonna be a pretty tough punish from that distance. So I, I can appreciate, I can respect the flapping butterfly because I don't think Nina's launchers. There's a chance I think that, that those weren't gonna work. So I respect the punish. I think it was a very good. Oh, the back, the back cartwheel. Oh, that should be it. No, no. Okay, no rage is the good news, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so he's gonna have, go into the Oki here. This is gonna be rough. Ah, yep. Ugh. That's a heartbreaker too. The just had blocked the python, but was only able to get the damage. And Sean, at the at the per, at precise correct moment, finally pulls out the around the world throw for the full launcher. Oh, Bailey stayed down. There is just so much to think about. Like there is so many options here. There's so much to keep in mind. Another really nice step launch though. Bailey's definitely made some nice adjustments. It's just having to keep up. Oh wow, good punish. Good punish. Sean was just a tiny, teensy bit slow on his own punish, and Bailey had the wherewithal to see that he could get a nice little punish there. Oh, that'll do, though. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah done. <laughs> you can just feel it. Into the, the solar plexus. Stumble. Uh, you're getting beat by a guy who can't tie his shoes. I assume that's why he has the Velcro. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, and Bailey had it. Sean finally went the other way, and Bailey was ready. Okay. Is does he know that I know that he knows? Yeah, for sure. I was waiting. Like Sean, I like Sean feels like he's waiting at the exact moment. Oh no, that could have been a bigger punish. That could have been Bailey's round. He's gonna eat the up four and three. This is gonna do a ton. No. And didn't. Whack. Well, you know that normally. Oh, oh okay. Clutch. All right. Another least online. Oh, that's yes. Okay. Ooh. Hey. All right. That should have been a more like a more regular punish, but Bailey clutches it out and takes the game. That was crazy. I am. What's up? 
Yeah. So uh, Bailey kept his cool there. Uh, was able to clutch it out at the end. Uh, punish with the down. I'm done for not punch, punch, but like I think Sean. I don't hear what's going on, but I know uh, Sean is talking to Milo in a minute, and he's oh yeah, he's yeah, he's something well, that occurred. Well, he did get asked a question, and yeah, he's yeah, nothing yeah. if not you a know, man know, of the people. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying Sean is in the wrong for like no, going no, off no. and explaining something. Uh, he oh, he's the last again. person to like sit there and get salty and say That's something been, yeah. that happened that shouldn't have been happened. He was just explaining something, so like I I didn't know exactly what occurred, but oh wow, that's been the money maker for Bailey has been that sidestep launcher. Um, He's been able to place it really well. Oh my God! Seriously, that's the le that's the less damaging option. That damage that does less damage. Oh, again, really working very light nicely to the left. Uh, Sean, see that that kick right there was to catch uh, Bailey stepping that way. Oh, oh, he went the whole thing. Nice. And Sean ducked after the he ducked the crane opener after D Bailey ducked the ducked the full string into the head play. The wherewithal, like seriously, like those kind of scrambles. That's a full launch. That'll do. The fact that they're they're both really on top of scrambles right now. Oh, another nice dan another nice punish, nice punish there too. Mostly just to get away from the wall. Nice whiff punish, jeez. Scoop him, scoop him this way, back to the wall. Such a nice option. Uh, and Sean went back to old tried and true. He planted the seeds, and uh, he reaped it. Hey. Okay. Oh, again. Bailey has been trying to use a lot of those get-up kicks to take back momentum. Sean was ready for it that time. Okay, down fours. Trade him. Set, stop him from stepping. Oh, let the whole thing rip. Then let it rip again, but faster. Nice. Ooh. Python explosion. That's the full combo. <laughs> Bailey was fighting for his life at that wall. It was actually a pretty, oh wow, the kip up to catch the tackle into forward three counter hit. This should be the wall. Nice damage. Has it has has ability here. Got to be careful though. Went for the oh, punish. Oh, that's not optimal. But it's all right. Catch the side step four. Okay, the little teeny kick. The one, the one move Marduk has where it's like it doesn't do a billion damage just to show that he's like, oh, no, it doesn't all do a billion damage. Check this out. Eh. Oh, the Mongolian chop. Launcher, counter hit. Actually, no, I think it has to be a counter hit. Oh. God, the, Python ex the, the threat of the Python explosion is so threatening. Nice duck. And the full, count he's full wall so damage. He's so clean at recognizing every single string. Yeah, Sean, is, uh, Sean really truly over the course of these past years has become an absolute true monster. Uh, it's insane. Uh, it'll be interesting, you know. I, I, he's accomplished a lot, actually, in this, True. in this set. In beat Arson. Doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care what the circumstances are. You beat, <laughs> like, you win. You beat. Who like, is Sean? Like, I don't care how online or I don't care if it's a one block connection. You beat him. You're a uh, legend. You take the, you take the title. So I, I, again. So he's Evo champ by extension. Yeah, he is. Oh my, he just did, how did, he just knows. It's so messed up, he just knows. Bailey, okay, so Bailey's definitely gotta find uh, an answer for that string because uh, he's just getting mauled at the wall. Oh, and not I, the jump he wanted, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, play smaller, okay, Sean, uh, missing out the jab timings because Sean was definitely expecting more jabs, but Bailey had to, you know, he was very nice to just wait for like half a second, oh, okay. Ooh. I thought he was about to let that go. I don't know if that was, I don't, that didn't look like a whiff punish. I think Sean might have just ducked. Um, oh. It didn't, didn't, didn't capitalize on the counter hit there either. Ugh. Did not commit this time, so it gets the full combo. Stomp. Oh, oh no, that should have, that probably should have been a pickup. Back to 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Slap him. Okay. Get, yeah, getting uh, like doing a lot of nice little small side steps that have and he's starting to get Sean to whiff on some of these bigger moves. Uh, that's gonna wall splat though. That's gonna yeah, it's a it's a lose. <laughs> I feel like most Marduks probably go for the non-launching throw there, so it might be something to keep in mind. But it is tough. Spring kick catches him. Okay, so wipe the floor. Go for tracking. Nice jab. Uh, catches him before he can really get under him with the the belly tudo stance. So we'll see. Oh, under it again. 
Uh, I feel like Bailey has been able to crawl his way back into this with movement and timely ducks, but uh, Sean is getting it with timely. Yeah, again. That is the less that is the less damaging option. <laughs> it's so messed up. Okay. Have we gonna have a ass, me messed up Oki situation? No, not really. Oh, oh that should have been it. That was such a massive whiff. whiff. Yeah. Oh, that'll do Put though. Nice, 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 nice. Keep keep the cool. That's two one. Be cool, be cool. Bailey's gotten, I believe, more rounds. Uh, maybe not. Uh, oh, nice punish. Oh, another another step. Nice counter hit to the wall. Okay, nice. Take the option. Oh, okay, no break there. Interesting, like both at wall in a way. <laughs> oh, oh, got God him! Like. What a choice. And Bailey is up two one. It's two one, I believe. Two one. Yeah, it's actually put up the wrong number. For for him, I'm pretty sure. After the reset. Did you win two after the re I don't think so. Go check the – I'm pretty sure it's 2-1 him after the reset. I, I, I know that my scoreboard is messed up. Well, you can go check the replays too. Well, no, they're, it's full. The full replays are full. I've not – the replays have been full. I don't think there's a I – know, I know I reset properly, but I'm having second guesses about – Sorry. I yeah, that's why, my, yeah, that's I, why I thought. I know my. Uh, so here's the reset. No, no, that's not the reset. No, that's Miles, yeah. Okay. So that's. So Sean won the first one 3 0, right? Okay, yeah, here's 0 0. Pretty sure Bailey wins this. We'll see. 2 1. This is 0 0, first game after the reset. She's, she, yeah. yeah, okay. So that's one. One for one for Bailey. I'm pretty sure it's two one, but we'll, we'll see. So All right, one, that, one. that should have been one one. This is where I screwed up. I gave the wrong point. Okay, gotcha. So it's one one, and then this was the latest match, and that was Bailey, right? Yeah. It should be so it's just two now. one two one Bailey. Two one Bailey. It's two one Bailey. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, thank. Excellent work, Detective. Yeah, I mean, we wouldn't have gone through all that if I was on top of the scoreboard, but you know. Hey, what's whatever. <laughs> Welcome to the King of Iron Fist. Like I, I thought so, but um, it's in. You know, I thought so, but we'll see. So, uh, with that said, yeah, Bailey is up two one. Uh, a very nice recovery from the initial 3-0 loss in the first one. Um, and again, I think Bailey has made a lot of this happen with a lot more precise movement and some very timely ducks. Um, and, and just kind of dealing with, the, I think, just dealing with the Mardic pressure just a little bit better. But yeah, I, I feel like the movement is really the, the important thing. Uh, so Sean did not stage select to um, Forgotten Realm. I wonder if he didn't because he thought that he had more of a, a lead or a leeway. Um, but yeah, we are going back there now. So it'll be interesting um, if he does take this one, then Bailey will have the nice advantage of not having to play game five not on this stage, which is can't be understated, really. <laughs> right? Like beating Sean, agreed, agreed. beating Sean on this, like he's tough to beat in general, but this stage is very tough. Nina, Nina and the thing is too is that Nina is a I think pretty damn good Forgotten Realm character. She's got some really nice stuff on this stage, but it's just Marduk is Marduk. Um, so we'll see, but it's it's a nice advantage to have to not you know be like to, to try to seal it. Oh my goodness, that was almost incredible. Oh the counter! Oh my god, yes. Yeah, Why is that floor work? I don't know. I mean, I see the animation. And I, the thing is too, I feel like I only ever see the counter hit animation on this stage, right? Like I feel like I could watch a million other match Marduk matches on any other stage, and I would never see it. Went for the big damage. The big launcher didn't quite work. Sean takes the first one. Two floors to work with still. Okay, good break on the two grab. That was going to be another issue. Okay. Okay, down for one. Oh. Honestly, if I'm Sean, I might not break here. Okay, good break on that one. Seems like he nice had the same dog. idea. Not even going to break that here. That didn't break. That such a large uh, life advantage. That didn't break the floor, though. That's kind of crazy. I was not expecting that. Whatever. That'd be done. 
There it is. Okay. Jeez. It's like, yeah, it doesn't it. even matter if he has the wall after the No, break yeah, or not. right? It's just... Why does... He's a, he's got so many okay so Bailey that's just why a, is he allowed that that was that was a that was a throwaway round you don't worry about it you don't worry about it you don't it. worry about it you don't it. worry about it you go back to Vermillion Gates and then you get back to two two well this is it this is this is it the yeah. final you go back to Vermillion Gates you don't worry about what just happened final Tekken seven Z axis match final Tekken seven Z axis match right here the final game. We're gonna see. Whatever, you guys are all gonna be crying like, yeah, can we get a legacy tournament? <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm gonna start bitching about T8 immediately. <laughs> heat is a heat is a scrub mechanic. I had nothing to do with it. Give me back to T7. I laugh about that, but I mean we're we are currently in the uh, flip flop back and forth between DOA five and six. That's true. Because they're both. I, I feel like they're both fun, I so. feel like for the most part Tekken has not really ever been that way. I feel like if you have a side Tekken tournament, it's like one of the old. It's like T three or tag or something like that, right? Oh, big whiff. Yeah, big whiff. Nice now forward one. And I better yeah I better not see them. Uh... Oh, nice. Good call. Yeah, that was a good that was a good read. Low. One plus two grab not broke, but uh, Mar uh, Sean does get the wall though. So, yeah. I feel like Nina should be able to reverse. Oh! That. Oh, I thought that was about to. Oh, uh, uh, the yeesh. tackle! Yeah, it's so active. So it's, it's so like, yeah. It's active. You can it's, you can see it, see it happening even as you're waking up. And it's, it's active. Like it goes under stuff, and then yeah, it hits a lot sooner than you're expecting. Two. To the wall, big 60%. Oh no, it's so unfortunate. Dude, I'm, roll, I'm rolling. My, my eyes are going to be in the back of my head. Dude. Yeah, there you know. Yeah, the mid. All right. Bailey. Okay. Bailey's got to reach real deep right now. This is uh, game point. Oh, no. Not, that's, that's not reaching deep. Sorry, I still believe. I still believe. Yeah, I mean. He's still blue. Okay, look at that. Look at that. We got Tex. Uh, not like he. Sean has thrown out a little, uh, quite a few of those mid high strings, and Bailey in general has not been ducking them. Uh, there are other options you got to worry about, but it's interesting because, okay, one grab. Not he broke. has like one more chance at life. Yes, yes. one more chance. Oh, and do it, Sean, dude. Clip the wipe the floor. Sealing his dominance in the Tekken Seven.